probably need to go order me one of them bacon sandwiches over there. Y'all come in, y'all come in. Wait till y'all hear this story. Why bitches so mad? Why are the fat bitches mad? Why are the overweight, out of breath bitches mad? Some family, you just gotta say, fuck them. I technically, my mother's funeral has been canceled. So I will be doing my own memorial thing. Because that's just a shell of a body sitting there. And bitches are trying to get their last moments that they didn't have in real life. I'm going to play some of these. I'm going to play some of these um, audio. Because, see, I don't have to make a moment up with my mama.
Okay, y'all, so I'm back. Let's go into the shit that just happened. At, can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Let me know y'all can hear me first. Somebody, please let me know if y'all can hear me. Can y'all hear me? Somebody, please let me know. Yes, y'all can hear me. Okay, you guys. Y'all will not believe what the fuck just happened at my mother's um, wake. All I want to say is this. Why is fat bitches so mad? Why is motherfuckers that weren't there so mad. Do y'all know three people tried to fight me? <laughs> three. I go in there minding my own business. You know why? Because I'm not mad about nothing. I am not mad about anything. You know why? Because I ain't did nothing. Why would I be mad because I was there? Why would I be mad because when she needed me, I was there. When she called my name, Michael, I have, you know what, and I'll be playing, I will be playing some of the videos, the audios of her talking to me. I think some of them are mad because she loved me. I think some of them are mad because she loved me. So I go into the front of my home. I don't say nothing to nobody. I say, hey to Sheila. Hey, Sheila. Now, my sister and fat ass, overweight niece is sitting there. And I go and I sit down. But I don't say nothing to nobody. Hey, T. I see my cousin, Kim. Hey, Kim. I go up to the casket. I see my mama. They got her on purple, which purple was not her favorite color because the bitches don't know her. Right? And first of all, let me shout this out. Fuck McFall's brothers for now. Hmm. If I was you, you know, that needs, they need to be reported. But even though they're trying to do the right thing now, but it's too late for me. It's too late. So I'm sitting there. So I have one nephew walk in and say, Ma, and come around. And I jump up. I say, bitch, run up at you. And they grab him. Why are you mad? Because you wasn't there for your grandmama. Why are you mad? Because she didn't ask for you, nigga. So he comes and run up again. Twice. I don't know what the fuck he on. His mind is bad. Breath stinking, a tooth yellow. One of his eyes cross eyed. You're cross eyed, bitch. So he runs up. My cousin Kim almost falls. She said, I'm not, not. but no, I was swinging back because I was going to knock the hell out of him with that walk. But so anyway, I called the police. They like, no, don't call the police. I said, no. So my aunt comes in. I'm talking to her. Now my daddy, who I'm pissed as fuck with, was standing there with your dumb ass. You know, he no longer exists to me. I have nothing to say to him. I, you know what? I'm so tired of daddy. You, you a weak ass man, daddy. You're weak. That's why my mama didn't stay with you long because you were weak. You let her do whatever she wanted to do. That's why for a long time I thought somebody else was my daddy. You were weak. You never showed a backbone. You were a straight up alcoholic, pissed on yourself, and she did whatever the fuck she wanted. Come on. That's why you stayed there because you knew you weren't that. Come on. I've been covering your ass all these years. Yes, I love you, but you, you were lackluster. You failed. You, you did not do. You were not a real man. You ain't when you weren't one today. You still did with a dumb ass look on your face. That's why your mother, your your mother was allowed to treat me the way she did and to treat my mama with hatred like she did. Because you didn't have a backbone. You have no balls. And 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 you are a weak ass father. And I must say that. Okay. With that being said. Um, so I call the police, but my niece who's big, she's shout out to my big girls. I'm going to just say she's a sloppy big. She's a ghetto, ghetto big, just like her daddy side. They fat, nasty and ghetto. And I said it. So, um, 
She said something. I said, fuck you, bitch. Oh, you call me bitch? I'm calling my daddy. So what? Fuck you and your daddy. So I can tell you some shit about your daddy. Um, how your daddy gave my sister syphilis. How he had another child. Ch- get the fuck out of here, you and your daddy. Fat asses. So I'm talking about, I, and he walks his fat ass in. He's six foot. Is gumpy and big. She gumpy and big. You can tell that this nigga got rolls and ain't washed under his arm and he got zits and, and, and the neck is dirty. Smell like shit probably. So I jump up on the chair and, like, and take the walker like motherfucker. And he started coming. But the frugal man, whoever this guy is, I don't know. He comes and grabs me. But ain't nobody grabbing the big fat funky bastard. So then my niece walks over with her big fat stinking ass and she goes to try to help. So I'm going at both of them plus the guard. Why does it always take two or three people to come at me? Look at me, I'm cute, but why does it always take that many people? Because y'all, why y'all so mad? Because y'all didn't have that relationship with my mama? Because she was phony? Y'all didn't go around her like that. She talked about you, Big Lorenzo, real bad. The same way you talk about my sister and said, fuck my sister. So I don't understand how my niece Crystal can love her daddy so much and he dogs and talk about her. But she does that about her own mama. But you, your mama meant something to you today, right? Huh? Second of all, so in the midst of that, in the meantime, no, you got to go. So this man was already told something about me. Because you ain't stopping nobody but me. But I'm going to get your bitch ass. Oh, I can't say whoever he is. So, as he's going, then the one nephew tries to come. I'm like, you bitches, what are y'all? Why are y'all coming for me? So, as we, t- I'm tussling with them, him, and look, I ain't no fucking slouch, I ain't no pushover. I grabbed him by the hood, he falls, I fall. I get up and just leave out the door. My niece throws the walk around. Okay, bitch, with your fat ass. With your fat, funky ass. That's why you like women, too. You talking about me and you, 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 are, you, you're bisexual. But why did it take all of y'all? My, my nephew, you stood your ass right there next to me. Why did you wait till I was with, tangled with somebody else before you wanted to run up? You was a bitch, nigga. Excuse my French. So the police shows up. They talking to, this is, I could, it was like a dream. They talking to the funeral people that I had to cuss out the day before. And, they, and the funeral said, well, you know what? We good, but we just don't want him here tomorrow at the funeral. I said, bitch. Wait, I didn't say that. But, and the officer's coming at me, and I'm studying telling the officer, look, I want to make a report because technically they tried to jump me. So I'm saying Lorenzo Mays, Crystal Mays, Marcus Lee Waters, and Damian Waters. And the man, I'm naming them. These are the people. So I'm naming them. And and, and the, the officer is not really taking my complaint serious, right? So I'm going to emergency in a minute because my back is killing me. And I'll make a report then with all those names on it. My, you know, It's all on camera where I sat there. I didn't approach anybody. Everybody approached me. And, and the flowers, y'all, one of the flowers says, 4C gang loves you. The other flower says, your only son. But I will be picking those flowers up tomorrow. Now, I'm going to do something myself. I don't know what, I don't know how, I don't know when. As far as I'm concerned, my mother's funeral is canceled to me. Now, my cousin and sister know I talked to them, and I told them that's not right for you not to have your last respect. And they said, well, you know, we don't do that. Ain't, but he can come long as he behave. What the fuck do you mean if I behave? I approach nobody. So get the fuck out of here. You ain't doing me no fucking favors. I don't want to be a part of that. If I go in there tomorrow, it's to go right in there and get those two flowers that, shout out to y'all, one that says 4C Gang loves you, and the other one says love your only son. Those two flowers. I'm going to go get those, and I will be asking There's no reason. That is why 
I said I needed the bodyguard. I don't know why I didn't get him then. I didn't know why I didn't walk in there with one. But that, you know what that comes from? A bunch of mad bitches. I ain't mad at none of them. My mama died and I wasn't there. And, you know, yes, it hurts me because I know that I was the one she asked for. And that's their problem. I didn't see none of that. You got one time I was, she, my niece, someone, she flew back. She never flew back and forth like that. That didn't happen. A lot of you hoes was right here. And did, none of y'all did not go to that hospital like that. I was there every damn day. And I did it not because to throw it in anybody's face. I did it because that's who me and her were. I got, I got audios. My mother's name was spelled wrong. My mother's name was spelled wrong. And I told the man, this is not her name. He went to my sister. My mama's name on her birth certificate is M-I-C-H-A-E-L. Maybe my youngest sister's dumb ass just couldn't spell right. They are dead to me. I will never say anything else to them. What I saw today and the what, how them bitches tried to do me, you bitches are mad at me because I was there. Come on. I don't have to go to a funeral to feel validated. Hmm. I got something some of them hoes will never have, and that's memory. That is memory. I had already talked to my cousin earlier. W were you able to get picked up the flowers? Um, my, um, that sounds good. Listen, I will. Um, I'm going to get the flowers tomorrow. That's if some of them don't try to tear them up. That's just how deceitful and evil these bitches are. My niece sitting her fat ass there. Her her daddy Lorenzo Mays walks in here, ex prisoner, ex fucking con walks up in here, and walk up on me for what, big bitch? You one motherfucking sandwich away from not being here your damn self. You are a heavy bitch. I want, come on, come on, come on, nigga. Come on, nigga. Come on. Your big fat punk ass walking up on me. Then you hickle your daughter fat ass. That's why your son don't fuck with you like that. Yes, one sandwich away. Get the fuck out of here. He walking, his arms rubbing, his legs rubbing. He out of breath. That's why your daughter jumped in to try to help you. She, I was going to hit him with the walker. But I do, I'm making a motherfucking police report. People always act up. Like, Look, I went in there and sat down just as nicely. But nigga, you going to take a bait because you can't fit in shit else, Lorenzo. So all you can fit in is a big van. Fuck. I said, don't come here with that shit, Lorenzo. And I jumped up on that. My sister, here my niece. Well, she ain't even my motherfucking niece no more. Angela's daughter, Crystal. Jumps. I'm going to show you two pictures of both they big asses. She jumped and going to take my, bitch, you throwing my walker wanting shit, bitch. Because you, you look, you going to need one before me. I walk better than you. Better than both of you bitches. Come on. Y'all thought y'all did some all of y'all. It was just me. I'm a loner. I wasn't scared of none of you bitches. I came in that motherfucker by myself. But I'm going to tell you one thing you can never have. That's the memory that I have with my mama. None of you bitches will get that. You can't. You can't. You can't. And it's sad to say that as sure as my mother took her last breath, that's what I feel about my father now. I've never seen a man so motherfucking weak. I've never seen a man so docile. A man that ain't said shit. Ain't said shit. Just like he didn't say shit growing up. But you showed me the ultimate weak man today. You showed me the ultimate that I ain't shit type of man. You showed me that today. You know what? I went in there peaceful today and I sat there just as peaceful. So my cousin called and said, you know what? That's wrong. You can come to, 
I know I'm not going to the front. Don't you mean? First of all, stop making it seem like you are doing something for me. I'm not going to the front. Room. I will go right in there to get my flowers and walk right the fuck out. Thank Forcey Gang. That'll be what I have. Thank you. But I don't want to be a part of that. I don't want to be around that. And I will take them flowers somewhere, go to a bar or something, and put them flowers up and have drinks for my mama. Thank you, Rebecca. Do y'all get what I'm saying? I refuse to be a part of that. Now, my older sister said that she, she fell out in front of the casket. Um, my daddy still did. This is a motherfucker that I went and, 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 and sat at the hospital with every motherfucking day. And yeah, bring me this, bring me that. But you stood your ass the other day and didn't say nothing while they tried to fight your son. That's weak. You're weak ass. You didn't even say nothing. You're weak as fuck. I almost wanted to make me slap the shit out of you. You taking it for people that ain't even your child or your children or your grandchildren. You don't have any grandchildren. Clean water, you have no grandchildren because Sonya don't have any kids and I don't have any kids. But you stood your ass right there. Hmm. Same way I had to take up for you when you was too drunk and people was fighting you. And as your son, I took up. How dumb of me, huh? Come on. Oh, yeah, I could have walked up in there with 70 people with me, but why? Don't nobody give me fucking permission to come to my mama's funeral. It don't work like that. It don't work. I will take the flower that, because I'm going to have for me, the flowers that um, Pisirian sent and the flowers for C. Gay and ones for me. I'm going to take those flowers. Matter of fact, I need to tell my cousin to send me a picture of them, but they will be taken. Mm hmm. Y'all sit there and look, I'm on a walker. Fight the guy on the walker. Oh, y'all some bad bitches. Fight the guy on the walker. Fight the one on the walker. Damien Waters, you bitch ass nigga. You bitch ass nigga, you. Run up, bitch. You lucky because they had bitch. I'm waiting on you, bitch. I'm going to stomp the fuck out of you. Come on, though. You, 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 bitch, this is the second time. Mom and Ed was right there with your motherfucking ass, too. That's when you ran up. Today, somebody had me. That was you. Bitch, I'm going to catch you by yourself and beat the dog break. I'm going to beat the dog shit out of you. Watch. You little scroungy, scrawny bitch. You can't handle me, ho. Trust me, unless somebody else is in the way. Because I'm going to fuck you up, bitch. Mm -mm. Second time you ran up on me like that, bitch. So, sue me. I am good. My cousin, shout out to my cousin Kim. She said, I talked to them and they said, well, if, and, she, and they was like, we got cameras. She said, look at your camera. Not once did I go to anybody. It is well with my soul. You be, why y'all mad? You mad because I can give you memory after memory after memory after memory with my mama. I can give you video after video after video with my mama. I can give you, come on, somebody. Voice messages from me and my mama. Why y'all so mad? I could not see my mama anymore and not be at that funeral and it still be well with myself. You know what? I keep telling y'all, <coughs> there was a reason they took my mama off life support without me being there. Crystal, I've never liked her. I've never liked Crystal. She ghetto like her daddy. They sit around, they talk nasty to each other. She just, she's sloppy. She's tall. She's big. She's gumpy. Even when she was little, she was just gumpy. Hmm? I don't like the way she treated her mama. All of a sudden, you care about her today. That's phony. That's phony. 
That's bonus. Thank you, R Short. It's kind of, in a way, not only are we having, not only have I lost a mother, and I'm paying my condolence for my mother, also a father, some 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 nieces and nephews, some siblings. My baby sister sat there. You know what? You get on my motherfucking nerves. You, my baby sister, Michelle. I don't even call you my baby sister no more. I'm going to say Shell. You say, first of all, I'm going to tell you how I know your motherfucking mind is fucked up. I, I haven't heard um, next to, because the clinic, she, who wanted to be reminded of a clinic she was at? Get the fuck out of here. That's show you how fucking corrupt your mind is. But let me tell you your ass. You know what you did? You didn't go see your mama. When I called, you know what someone said? I said, where's, where's someone? Where's Michelle? Drunk. You were there when you were there when she took her last breath, but when she was in the hospital, what you kept doing? Dropping star off and wouldn't even go in and see your mama. And I said to Mama, why is it that Michelle? Oh, she got a word. No, that was when we talked. I said, I don't give a fuck. I would, I would take a couple of extra hours, you know, leave early. I would leave early. But you didn't have that time to do that. All of a sudden, you care, my mom and my mom, and I want to be right. Get the fuck out of here. You put her in purple. Purple was not her favorite color. This is how dumb you bitches are. Purple was not my mama's favorite color. But you wouldn't know that because you never talked. Didn't the last time your interaction with mama, you pulled her hair and took her pills? When not that your last interactions with my mama? When she called me and said, that damn Michelle, that bitch get on my nerve, and she left your house. What not your last interaction? I said, Michelle, did what? She said, yeah, that bitch tried to fight me, pulled my hair. Ain't that your last interaction with mama? Hmm. As I play this, when I play this voice, remember when I said, how about tell Michelle to come in there? She said, who is Michelle? But now, oh, my mama, I look, oh, my mama, where was you at? <coughs> where the hell was you? I didn't see you. I didn't see none of y'all during the pandemic when she had her knee surgery. It was in pain. Nobody was there. I didn't say a word to none of y'all. I didn't even give a fuck why y'all wasn't there. Because I didn't give a fuck if you was there or not. All that mattered was I was there. And so when you walk into a place, come on, somebody, and people are so upset with you, so upset with you, some of them are upset because you have memories that they don't have. Others are upset because they feel some type of way. Then you have other people upset because they're jealous of the relationship. Now, nothing against them, but my baby sister didn't have a relationship with my mama like I did. My sister Sonia didn't have it. Angela didn't have it. Y'all know how many things me and my mom, me and my mom went to bingo together. We we just did so, we went fishing together. We did, we cooked together. They didn't cook with her. Growing up, we always cooked. So many recipes for the way I cook is from my mama.
I'm back. That was, listen, what gets me is you have family members. I love my family. I mean, my cousin Kim Cross, she's like, Michael, why are you on live? I said, wait, I'm sitting here and they're there. You know, I'm on live. Three people, four people tried to fight me. All I did was sit there at my mama's funeral. And they told me, well, mama wouldn't have wanted you. Baby, mama would have been right on here. Tell me, fuck them bitches. I have no respect or person for any of them right now. My dad, I'm so disappointed. Well, I've always, I, you know, it ain't the first time I've been disappointed in him. Hmm. Been disappointed in his ass many a time. But, you know, but it's amazing how things turn out. When something happened to somebody, you know who be the first ones jumping up, trying to make um, plans and put shit together is the ones that were not there. So for me, I'm I'm not gonna go tomorrow. I'm not going there tomorrow. I don't want to be around them. It hurts me more to see them than it does for me to see my mama laying in a casket. The color wig they had on ain't her. I don't want wear no fucking gray wig. But my sister, your mind is all disheveled any fucking way. You don't know how to dress, so how the hell you dress? My mama, you dress fucked up. And from this point on, I see your photos of the flowers that I sent on Facebook. I see you, I sent, oh, did you? I'm gonna have to. Oh, you sent flowers too? See, I didn't know that. You know, I need to um, get all of them flowers. Um, get all my 4C game sent and have it for what I want to plan tomorrow. I'm gonna have something separate for myself. If it's nothing but us getting together and having a cup of cocktail. Hey, I've never been so disrespected in my life. Nigga, you gonna try to run up? Y'all wanna try to run up and fight me in front of my mama's casket? Lorenzo, when your mama died, bitch, I sat there and didn't say a word. When baby sister died, I didn't say a motherfucking word, no matter how big her casket was. But you gonna fight in front, you gonna walk up on me at my mama's funeral, you fat, funky bitch. Come on, somebody. Oh, Rifka, thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you for the super sticker, sweetheart. I'm never, look, I'm bitch, you walk into my mama's funeral. Several of you bitches. And people expect me not to be mad, expect me to go back. I'm not going back there. I have no reason to. I'm not, the only way I'll go back if there's not another bitch there. And you know the way I'm not going to go back? If the bitches that tried to fight me, Crystal, Mark, Damien and other, if they're not there because there is no rep re repercussion, I didn't try to fight nobody. Get the fuck out of here. And for them to try to make it seem like it was my fault. Mm -mm. And I hate to put it like this. Anybody that chooses to go to that room tomorrow, that's you. That's you. I'm not going to go. I would love if they stood with me. But I'm not going. Mm -mm. No way. I don't need an obituary. Because half of the city ain't, ain't true no damn way. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And if people are at the motherfucking weight, not you, Cousin Kim. How do they have time to know what the fuck I'm saying on here? Don't say what I'm doing. If them bitches respected their grandmama, them bitches would have never ran up on me. Because I'll tell you this. Bitch, she didn't love y'all more than she loved me. So if you ran up on her son, what the fuck did you think she think? 
And this old crooked tooth, crooked eye motherfucking Marcus, bitch, I got a PPO on you. Ain't you already on your way to jail, bitch? But I got to make this. I'm sitting here. My back is killing me because of you bitches. Running up on me. I remember being at my mama's house one time. Me and her standing outside, and the police pulls up. And he comes out the door. There he is right there. He's not supposed to be here. I got How am I not supposed to be at my mama's shit, bitch? The police say, well, hold up. What's my mama say, hold on. He said, what's your name? She said, Michael Waters. They said, what's your name? I said, Michael Waters. She said, yeah, this is my son. He's named after me. What kills me is when these motherfuckers think they were closer to my mama than me. I'll never forget him saying, you just mad because your mama love, you mad because your mama love me more than you. I said, nigga, you should be mad that my mama love you more than your mama. Because if you think about it, bitch, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have ate half the motherfucking time. If it wasn't for me, you would come on, get the fuck up out of here. Didn't you live at my house, nigga? Look up, out of here. And this motherfucker looking deranged, ran in there twice. Bitch, you could have got you could have got loose. But you you wanna go to jail again? You wanna go to jail again, boo? But you just might. Cause I record everything and they have a camera. And I am going to press charges on you. You threaten my persons, my health. I would be pressing charges on all of them. Damien Waters, I will be pressing. The only reason I ain't pressed charges on you last time because I had a warrant. Hell, I got a charge now. <laughs> but I will be going over here to emergency. And I would add a police. That was an assault. You assaulted me. Then I'll be going to the police station personally. I came in there so calm, cool, and collected. Y'all know what? Word. Y'all some weak ass words. Damon. Water. I hate you. You ain't even supposed to. Y'all, and them the two bitches that ain't even supposed to have our last name. Your last name should be Jones. It should be Jones. None of y'all should be Waters. I'm the last Waters there is. We need to um, quiet up so you can be at your mama's funeral. And I don't go since my daughter, but this is something you may yeah. You know what? What I need to do is I need a. I need, you know what? I need some bodyguards. I said I was getting one. I had reached out to some people, but I never got a because that because I I will not go through what I went through today. I really won't. I don't know how much they cost. Hell, just sent them expensive ass flowers. Y'all see them? Fortune came. I stepped in mind of my own motherfucking business. And these bitches ran up with me, and then Lorenzo, big, fat, funky, sloppy, stinking ass, gonna come in and run up on me with his daughter. Then my nephew gonna try to sneak in on the side. I, had to, I fell down, I had to swing him down, but the man is stuck. Why is it every time I am trying to do something, it's always three or four people holding me? And then bitches think they get, no, bitch, you got me because they was holding me. Cause see, I was ready for that little skinny bitch. So I was going to tap that ass today, bitch. Hurt back and all, but y'all hurt my back even more. Y'all hurt my back. All you bitches so mad at my words and what the fuck I said to you bitches that I can sit in your face, your face mad. Because I'm a fat bitch. Oh, I'm calling my daddy. You ain't the only one that calls your daddy, bitch. 
I said, bitch, and I meant it. And your daddy's a bitch for walking up on me like that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Thank you. Delina, I love you too. I will not be going to that motherfucking prune on the mind. They some jealous, mad bitches because they ain't did shit. I love you too, cousin. You know why they tripping out like that? Because when you have a bunch of people that have not been there, or no matter how much they didn't like me, I was her child. I was her son. They, I know they looked at them videos of me and my mama together. They didn't have those moments. I know they looked at them videos of me talking, or, you know, of me sitting there rubbing her head or her legs when she, you know, or me just hugging on my mama or kissing or loving on her. They don't have a moment. They don't. Please make sure that you get the flowers that I sent from me and say, I will. Oh my God, what happened? Damn, are we going to? Look, Melissa, they tried to come for me. They tried to fight me. <laughs> Evil, jealous bitches, mad bitches. Lorenzo, you coming for me because of what I said about your daughter? You said worse shit about my sister, motherfucker. You said worse shit about my, my sister, nigga. And look, you fighting over the same daughter that you told the judge that that wasn't your daughter because you didn't want to pay child support? Get your fat ass the fuck out of here, nigga. You really mad at my sister? Because she put you down for child support? Is that what you look at? Get the fuck out of here. You used to be a 32, now you're 102 sizes in the way, fat bitch. And I wish you had to put your fucking hands on me. I was up jumping, I know. You would have been the first one I would have had to send the motherfucking jail. But ain't that what you ain't you an ex prisoner anyway, convict? Right, if that's your grandchildren. Your grandchildren think they have a right to between a son on lies in his mind. Yeah. Yes. I came in and sat down. You walked in at my mama funeral, bitch. Oh, excuse me. But you don't give a fuck about your own mama. You done went up on your own mama all y'all have. That's what you wish my mama had been your mama. Mm -hmm. How disrespectful is that? And they talking about, I can come if I don't do. How about this? Ban them people that came and tried to fight me. You let this big fat. Wait, and whoever the guy was, oh, this nigga came at me. Tell my comrade, no, calm down. But you steady letting this big fat motherfucker walk up on me. And he choked. That bitch choked. I'm going to press charges on him. I really do. What the fuck you choking me for, bitch? It was kind of hot. It was kind of cute. If his breath hadn't stunk. That was another thing. Everybody that got in my face, breath was smelled like shit. My niece Crystal breath smelled like coochie. Victor and his smelled like fucking boiled hot dog. 
And I ain't gonna play with my nephew breasts in like a mixture of ass and cat paws. <laughs> a mixture of ass and cat paws. I was like, why is this nigga breast smell like ass and cat paws? Look crazy, look uh, this motherfucker so he is really deranged. His mind is fucked up. He ain't been right since his daddy was killed. I said, I watch all your loving video CMA of you, your family, uh, mom, that was so very sweet. And now your fam is tripping. It's giving jealousy instead of love and support. For you. That's, ex listen, that's all, it's jealousy. If I sit and say, I know how close me and my mama is. Fuck my mama. We had the same name for a reason. My, my, I keep calling her half of my baby sister, Michelle. You want, you, you are begging so much to feel close to my mama that you keep putting that E on the end of her name. Y'all know how many videos I got? My mama said, yeah, that's my son. I named him after me. We have the same exact name. You going by she didn't put that E on there, and just one time, she said, oh, the only reason I put the E because when I was younger. My mama loved her name being Michael. And you gonna put on her a bitch away? Tell me, what, she usually put it in the parenthesis, bitch, stop, you, you are crazy, uneducated hoe, that's why you got a GED. That's why you've been cheating on your husband for the longest. I, you know, people tell me, y'all family, this is a time for y'all to come together. We've never been together. Hey, stop playing. Stop playing. I walked in there and didn't speak to none of them and sat down. I went in there with an agenda to not to block everybody out and just sit there. But yet, as I sat there, you had several people come. Why y'all all so fucking mad at me? I know why. Same reason y'all took her off of life support before I got there. Oh, this is the way to get them back. You love your mama so much, I bet you we're going to take this from you. How did that make y'all feel, though? I'll tell you what, you, what's her last, you know what her last words say to me? Michael, I'm dying. You got to get here. So that alone lets me know she wants to, because you know who she was used to seeing? Me. You know who was used to being next to her? Me. No matter if we were mad at each other or anything, I was right there because of the love I had for her. Y'all went on with y'all busy ass lives. Mm hmm. I'm going to break a hole there and just play. Wait, she didn't even know who my baby sister was. I said, Mama, you said Michelle who? But that, because see, you're, you're, you're reaching for a moment. You're reaching for a memory. I can tell you some memories. Sometimes we had to look for your little hot ass. Huh. Well, I can give you some memories. I was wondering the same thing, Sweet Baby. What's Sweet Baby say? Um, why is it great? Yeah. How much I had to go out of you two and come back. Oh. So I'm going to, you know, I'm, I had a black screen, or a black screen, okay? Yes, yeah, but we didn't get in. I'm, I'm gonna, uh, if I go tomorrow, it'll only be because I've been in hired uh, um, some bodyguards. Because of what happened today, it was me against a plethora of people. When you can make so many people mad, you know, why y'all so mad? 
my baby sister's ju- I mean, Michelle, jumping up top. But it's a, that's my mom. What about this tenacity and emotion? And ain't it amazing how at the end of somebody's life, people can just come in and step in and make decisions. Trust and believe, if I had not been locked up for that case from then, baby, this whole thing would have went differently. This whole thing would have went differently. The whole thing would have went differently. I'm telling you, there's time. Nobody had my mama like I had her. Who allowed all this to happen in the funeral? But I'm not even going to talk about that funeral home. Um, I'll talk about that at a later date. Yeah, I, you know, there's some actions I'm going to have to take after this. I have, I have, I have to press charges. And there's a lot of witnesses. And my cousin, all of them looking like, hey, they trying to be neutral. No, it ain't no neutral to me. Right is right and wrong is wrong. They a bunch of jealous bitches. And I say that and I stand by it. The fuck is you mad about? And mark your old cross-eyed eyes and you stunk. Everybody breath stunk. That's what I didn't get. They breath smelled like shit. All in my mama face. Y'all look at that corpse, that body. I was at the hospital many a time. I didn't see nobody. Even when I'd be on the phone with her over 24 hours, nobody stayed there a long time. Who was that? Same motherfucker Mark that came in. Come on, I'm gonna tell you that with your old cross. Bitch, I ain't know if you was even looking at me because I was gonna fuck you up, bitch. But I'm gonna tell you yeah, what I saw. He, he wasn't there. I think he went once. We dropped Star off. You dropped Star off. You didn't go in there and sit with your nanny. Y'all didn't have time for that. You know who sat there every day? You know who, when I got ready to try to leave, she made me stay? <laughs> you know something that I will always have that some of y'all will never have? Huh? It's the memories, the time, and the love. Come on, somebody. For a hell of a time for you, and uh, you're showing their ass. Look, it, but you know what? I swear I am not shot at all. Um, like, do you know the McCoys? Yes, I do know the McCoys. Yes, I do. Uh, who are, why are they being so, what? Let me say, why are they being so. Message to you. They know you um, and your mother. Listen, DK74, that's the problem. I remember her, that bitch Eddie Garrett, that, that fat fuck Eddie. Told her, it's either your son or me, she said, you crazy. There, you know what? Y'all heard me tell the stories of how nobody would watch me earlier. Nobody would watch you. You know, trust and believe, they all look at my um, YouTube channel. Y'all hear me? They all look at my YouTube channel. They see my mama on there a million times. My mama has been on there a million times. We have been funny together. Y'all have sent her to, um, y'all sent her to, hey, how you doing? Y'all sent her to um what time that oh y'all sent her to bingo y'all cast up she loved the 4C game. Hell 
But some of y'all talk to her more than some of her own family did. Uh, Michael, did Mama Michael raise some of your grandchildren? Well, my baby sister had quite a few. We all raised them. Hell, some of them stayed with me. Some of them stayed with my mama. Mm-hmm. You know, she was more of a mother than what their mother was. Because she had them all young. She was still ripping and running. She would always put them in school by where we lived, so we would have to go take them to school and pick them up. Every time they come, Uncle, we hungry. I would stop and I always work at a restaurant, drop food. I'd be cleaning the house up as I go in. I'm tell, it's a difference when your mother, the grandmother is more settled because it was the same thing with us. But ours was more of a home life. I mean, one time, this, the motherfucker that tried to run up on me today, the little cross-eyed bastard. Uh, she wasn't doing so good that we took him. And my sister and him stood out in the formation, get my baby back. But my mom said, this bitch is not getting her baby back. The other one that tried, that I had to snatch by the hood and we fell. I can tell you stories, trust and believe. Yes, my mom did a whole lot. Did a whole lot. I don't even want to talk about that for the home right now, but it, we will go into detail about it. They've been in the bush. they always in the bush. I meant your beautiful mama, Michael Ann. That's your mama and you, CMA, was her only son. She named Michael Allen was a reason. You was her precious black king, her to look. Me and her even look, I look more like her than any of my um, sisters. I almost said sisters and brothers, siblings. My heart is so full right now. Uh, oh, Jody, thank you for the super sticker. Come on, somebody. Yes, thank you, baby. Uh, people always be kicking their pillows and family be okay uh hey T P P man pink wait a minute uh that's my family my daughter's daddy said okay and everybody's sitting there looking but you know what really gets me the most is my motherfucking daddy. What I saw today, I am done here. I'm, I'm not going to call. There was a disconnect for me today. There was a disconnection there. That man didn't come over and say, son, or nothing. Or nothing. Uh, his sister did. Thank you for the uh, super sticker. So the grandchildren feel more like her kids, their grandchildren. That's the problem. But you're the damn biological. Uh, thank you. That, that's what I keep trying to tell them. You will never be before me. No mother's going to love a grandchild more than she loves her child. I just hate that you... I just hope that you get the flowers. I said, I will, I will. Uh, thank you, lady. Yes, thank you for the super sticker, babe. Oh, I'll get them tomorrow. I will get them tomorrow. They were my flowers, my, my, my subscribe. I, you know what? Those are the only flowers that were there that I saw was from, from us, from me, in the, in, the, in the four C games. I didn't see the other one. I didn't. The 
we're going to knock some wine. So I'll just get there early. Hey, QST. You wouldn't believe it. You would not believe what's going on. You would not believe what I endured today. You know, usually at the end how you have people that, you know, they had a flower girl to go. It's none of that. Every flower that my people sent, I want. I want. And now I'm going to emergency because my back hurts between the funeral man, or whoever he was, and I, I swear I should have took bodyguards with me today. I should have had, I don't know what I was thinking, I should have had bodyguards with me today. Oh, okay, Dion. You know what? I just cannot believe. But that showed you the disrespect that they had for her. Um, I used to call that nigga my brother-in-law. That ain't my motherfucking brother-in-law. Never have been. But to walk in my mama's funeral for as much as that cross-eyed motherfucker, cross this dingy, crazy motherfucker to walk in there and, and come for her, the woman that's laying in that casket's child. Cause see, they didn't listen to her. They didn't listen. They didn't listen to their mama. Y'all hurt. You hurt because she wasn't your mama. That's what the hell y'all heard about. These are so delicious, dog. So, at the end of the day, uh, you know who I'm most upset with? Quentin Water. The weakest man I've ever known in my life. And I have to do a whole video and write a play just about his ass. Today I had a disgust for him. Today when I saw and how he reacted, I've never seen a man so weak. And I, and I have to keep saying that. I, not only did I lose a mother, but I lost a dad today too. The same one that I sat in his went every day to go see. Uh uh. So I had that dumb ass look on his face. I even went up to Daddy, I'm not gonna have this here today. I'm not gonna do this today. He just looked and didn't say a word. He didn't look and say a word. But that is not only that was the pattern. That was the pattern with them. Well, when my one sister, Pam, died, his mother hated my mother. And the reason I'm telling the story because this is a story. My mama told me a lot of things. She told me some shit she ain't telling none of nobody else. That's one thing, me and my mama talked about everything. And nobody can take that, whether I'm at a funeral or not. But it, it irks me to see these motherfuckers sitting their asses there. They ain't shit. So, my mother was, and father, got married when she was 15. He was 21. So she was too young and we told her. And my grandmother went in there and my Uncle Pee Wee and acted like them and signed the paper. Which really made you wonder was the marriage legal? So, anyway, my mother had my oldest sister. So, this was in 64. So, my mama had a baby already and then she married. 
Clinton was. I don't, I don't even want to say daddy no more. Very Clinton. And I, oh, this is so delicious. And so, <laughs> on the honeymoon, they came back. She said, you know, he was so drunk, they had to carry him from, from the car. I said, that was your honeymoon night? She said, yeah, he was so drunk, they had to carry his ass from the car. And my mother was always the one in charge. But he, his mother, oh, she was something else as well. So, they had my sister Pam in 1965. And Pam died at six weeks old, my mom, at home, crib death. First, my father's mother tried to say that my mama killed the baby. I don't know how much she disliked my mom. She tried to say my mama killed the baby just as there. The baby was too light, it wasn't here. But anyway. So, they're at a funeral. They're at the funeral, on an actual funeral. They have a funeral for my, my sister. Um, so when they had a funeral, my mama says she walked there, you know, beforehand, she's 16 years old. My, my father's, I mean, Clinton's mother, is sitting there with um, she done took my sister out the casket and changed the clothes from what my mama had on to what she wanted to have on. I said, Mama, what did she do? She said, I just ran out. I said, you didn't cuss at her? She said, no, I just ran out. I was young. Uh, my daddy didn't Clinton didn't speak up either. I saw a weak man today. I saw a man, as I looked today, I saw the end of any type of relationship we had. He became obsolete to me. I knew today at that moment that he and I would never say anything else to each other, never have another moment. I let go of him today as well for my peace. For my peace. It was like he wasn't even there. It's like he was a non-factor, which has been a lot of that in my life when it comes to him. Nothing but he helped me ride a bike. <laughs> Almost killed me on a motorcycle. And I mean, look, does that make sense when I tell y'all what I felt today? I felt when I turned and looked at him, I knew that, that would be the last time I would see him, the last time I would talk to him. And I was like, wow, you know what? I've actually just lost both of my parents. I've actually just lost both of my parents. You know what, Devin? Like some of some of them tried to get physical. Yeah. So look, the reason they told me because I didn't like them bitches when my mom was alive, and so it was always me and them. Even before, before grandkids. Because but you know my mother has a little part to do with it. And it, and, it, and it fucked them up because it made them, you know, they thought they were special. But when it came down to it, and me being her son, I mean, my cousin, I mean, I don't even call the motherfucker my nephew, he's the, the, the Michelle's kid. I remember he told me, okay, man, did they say he cut you off? Don't say, bitch. 
You know how long we were mother and child before you even got your ass here? I'm praying for you, Michael. This, you know, it's it's sad on their behalf. But you know how long we were mother and I've had her for almost 54 years. That's a long time before any of them got here. Um, looking at Crystal, because I, I told you, niece and nephew is out of my mother, fucking mother, cabinet. What I saw today, <laughs> but I'll tell you this. If you had all that love and loved her so much, why move? Why go for this? You know how many offers I had? Oh, you need to move here because you know we'll give you this opportunity. And I always said, nope, I cannot do it. I said, as long as my mama is living on this earth, I will not live anywhere that I can't get to her in 22 seconds. I've always said that. She even said, boy, you better live your life. Don't worry about it. I didn't live my life. But you know what? I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I did. I ain't one tear come out of my eye today. Not one motherfucking tear came out of my eye today or since she's been gone because of something I didn't say to her, time I didn't spend with her, something she didn't know about me. The only tears that have came out of my eyes are the tears of the fact that I won't talk to her on this side anymore. Uh, Mike, go home and get some rest, please. Uh, end this live. This is too much. Gia, yeah, don't worry about it. I, look, this is making me feel bad. I am praying for you, Mike. This is sad. No, I'm about to go to emergency because I was attacked. My back is killing me. Are you going to leave Detroit? Yes, I will. You know, after, I, there's no reason for me to stay here anymore. And I don't even like being in, you know what? It's a shame when you don't even like being in the same city as certain folk. And what's the way that you can make, the only way you make people mad is by winning. And I'm winning. I'm going to be winning. That's why they will be upset. Some family members are not shit. We all have them. And our family, especially when one pet. Listen, I know, this, this is what I thought when my mama passed. I said this. Wow, okay, when she passed, I don't have to see. Because listen, even when me and my mother would talk and she would mention certain people, I said, I don't want to hear about that. She will say, so-and-so just had a baby. I said, I don't care. Mark just had this. I don't care. I don't want to know. Do it, I don't care. I, because I'm not phony like that. I knew that, and and this has been me, and I've said it before. I knew that some people, when they die, I knew I would not go to their funeral. I, your two nephews, they can die tomorrow. I would not go to the funeral. And I had no attention on it. I wouldn't be phony like that. They have crossed the line too much. There's nothing. I don't even think of them in that way. Oh, Michael, that's so horrible. No, I'm not. That's so cool. And I would hope the motherfucker wouldn't come to mind. Crystal, I've let her go a long time ago. I've let her go a long time ago. Just when I looked at her today, just bland, just dusty, sloppy. You know it's bad when the deceased look better than some of the people in front of them. You know it looked bad when the deceased look better than some of the people at the funeral. And see what it is for me. A lot of people get upset. Cause my mouth. <laughs> I've been calling a million times. You bad. You this, you that. Okay. That's still my mouth. 
I don't give a fuck if y'all ever bitch to me again. That's still my mama. Huh. You could never take that out of my mama's mind. First name that she would ever call is Michael. Y'all blaming me for that? Y'all mad at me for that? So I need to make a police report as I go through this emergency. See, I couldn't even go to the uh, for the bar anyway because I don't have anything up. You know, my clothes is at the house. But I'm going to be in the emergency unless they let me out early. You know, I have to get that new channel popper. And I can concentrate on that. At the funeral, these bitches, and I keep saying it, that bitch threw my water. She going to need one in a minute. Cool my palm. But I mean, so, um, five years ago, a good man you know, I'm not even going to go now. I'm not even going. I'm not. I'm just going in there, get my stuff, keep it moving. I said, no, you need, that ain't right. You need to do your last respect. It's one thing to do last respect, but it's one thing to be last disrespected at your own mama funeral. Some hateful bitches. I feel the way I feel. I mean, God would be very disrespectful. Y'all think I want to be around that? Do y'all think I would want to be around that? I am her child. And I think something's going to happen just in God's way. You cannot be deceitful and evil like that, disrespectful, and don't think something's going to happen. All those people that jump, tried to jump me, <laughs> don't be surprised to end up being one of y'all for you. Don't be surprised if you're no longer here. Can't do that. The lady lives in a casket of her son. You wait to approve her? You see where I was at? Dude, you saw me in the car the other day. Why you wait to approve her to try to sneak me, bitch? I go live all the time and say where I'm at. Why did y'all have to wait till the funeral? Why not do it? That's what I just don't get. But that's the love y'all have for her. Is that the love y'all have for her? I'm calling my daddy. I know you will. But y'all sit there and talk about sex together. And I don't even know who talk like that. My mama talk about a lot of things, but we don't never talk that nasty like that. Make me wonder. But, Chris, Chris, I heard about you. <laughs> I ain't gonna say it. Huh. And a lot of things with these people do here. But, Mike, do you think the jumper would... It, look, it wasn't no jump, jump, but you know, people scrab, tussling. But you know what? Not on one part, on one person part was because this mother, he's, he's got a cross eye, and he's ugly as fuck. His teeth are crooked and messed up. I wish he'd get him fixed, but I don't give a fuck what he is. 
his daddy had crossed that dislike and they both crossed that like a motherfucker. And what the daddy would do is, okay, let me stop. Let me stop, y'all. You know what? What I'm pissed about is the fact that you walk up in my mama's funeral and think you're going to come at me. But I see he got out there real quick. But, and see, people think I prosecuted them once before. I have a PTO out on them. And so I'm going to have to do it again. I'm going to have to do it. And this is what I hate doing. But look, if I had went to that funeral, saw my mama, I mean, to the way, saw my mama, and paid it no more attention, I would not have seen none. This is now, I have to see none of them ever again in my life. And I'm talking about them certain people. I would have never saw Crystal Lena talk to her, Mark, or do, I would have never talk or see them. And now with Lorenzo Big Man, I sure not would have seen them talk to him. Y'all can wait two days, because y'all would, you know what y'all would be doing? Watching me on here like y'all normally do. Let's go see what he talking about. See if he talking about me. He's laughing. I'll get mad and more upset, more upset. And you know what? Out of all of them, I think Chris was the only one that actually graduated from high school, but the Chris is none of my <laughs> I haven't done anything. Come on. But people keep telling Michael, calm down. Why the fuck should I come? Why can't I talk about what happened? I went in there just as I didn't I didn't have no cocktails or nothing. I just went in there and sat down. I said, you know what, this is about my mom. It's not about them. But when I went in there, everybody made it about them and not my mama. But y'all keep telling me to calm down. Get the hell out of here. But I'm going to tell you, you cannot mess with a child of God. And think you're going to get away with it. Y'all think that y'all did that to me and tried to, well, when I say, tried to come at me. And it's all on camera. Which I hope they subpoena the funeral home to get them. It's all on camera. It's all on camera. And um, it's all on camera. And you don't think that they're going to give it. You don't think that they're going to get it. You don't think that they're going to get that. That's just my business, sweetheart. I don't need, that's why, you know why I don't tell nobody where I live? Because it's nobody's business. Just some shit like that. I have family members that watch this all the time. They don't need to know where I stay. I do that. I do that on purpose. I do that. Yep, baby. I'm a, I'm always in a hotel. Remember that anonymous. I ain't never saw you before, but yep, I'm in a hotel constantly. I had my sister drop me off at a hotel just so she didn't know where the hell I was to actually live. You think I want it? Well, Michelle, Michelle, I'm gonna say to you. Do you think that? Hey, now, I would never be on here and let somebody know where I live. My mama, there's no reason. I had her drop me off at a hotel. She called me one time. Said, well, yeah, I said, a hotel. Do you think I'm dumb? I've learned. I've learned. Some of your stuff you have to keep to yourself. You have to keep some things to yourself. That way, can't nobody come to no, none of them. I said, can't none, can't get none of them come to it. Nowadays, all you got to know is somebody's name. I'm, I'm going, as I go in, oh, my pack is full. The way that they came at me. And more so is, you know, the rest of them, nobody put hands on me. But the, the guy from the front room, you got to go. And that was already preconceived because of the interaction I had with the front room, remember? When I asked about having her whole casket open. So that was already pre. So it was like he was put there. The guy from the front room was put there for that. Right? Put there for that. So, um, because he can, uh uh, you, 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 he ain't saying nothing. 
Were you scared of the big guy? Could you? First of all, I said that they said nothing when Mark came in there twice. They said nothing when Mark came in there twice, right? They said nothing. I called the police. I'm waiting on the police. Then that's when my sister's daughter says, well, I'm calling you my daddy. You call me a fat bitch. So I'm standing in front of my auntie. Then he walks in. So as he walks in, and he's cut, and mind you, he's a big, fat, sloppy. I'd be walking, he's so big, his arms out, and so with gloves on. So I grab the walker and I stand up on the chip because he's taller than me. And I want to hit down if I got to. And so the guy said, ah, ah, get off the chair. He never once turned to my sister's father's kid, if that's the daddy, and said, wait, what are you coming here for? Don't come in here like that. And that's on camera. And so that is what I really got pissed about. Why not stop the person that was aggressive? What me? I stood right up. And of course, I'm going to defend myself. So this man is grabbing me. Because here comes big fat ass, kept coming at me, kept coming at me. So of course, I'm moving back, moving back. And here's the, the, this guy from the front of the room. I don't know this man. But it's like he was already put there. He already knew because, of, mind you, I had to, I cussed the when I went to go view the body. So now, here's this man being over aggr overly aggressive to me, and I hadn't done nothing to nobody. And so, as he's coming, here come the big guy. Here comes my sister's daughter. And then, as I'm getting out, he's like, all of my stuff is in there, and this man started trying to push me towards the door. So I'm tussling with him. My back hurts. And as I'm tussling with him, here comes the other nephew. So me and him tussle, I grab him back, and we both fall. The man is still holding me. My nephew, what the fuck every time I get into it? Everybody want to hold me. And so I get and go out the door because all of them coming. Uh, Crystal, the rose, takes the walker because of my back. I'm so glad because I I'm, I'm going to sue everybody. I have to. Now I'm going to sue. I'm, you know, I'm so tired of suing the president. This is about the fifth lawyer I'm talking to. Don't think the other ones is out either. Out. Those things are still in. But since my mom died, I have not really went into them. So the police pulls up. That I call. And they say they're talking to me. But mind you, this is a fruit of home concept of me. And uh, if the dog, you know him. And my cousin had to say, hold up. It was not him. He did nothing. So they going by what was already said and already done. So hopefully they can subpoena them for the, the videotape to see exactly what happened. Because I did nothing to nobody. I did not go to my mama's thing to fight or argue with anybody. It wasn't about them. It was about my mama. I walked in, hey, Sheila, I saw my cousin Kim, hey, I gave her a hug, I went up, I even nodded at my older sister husband, and I don't mess with him, and I looked at my mama, stood there for a minute, and then I went and sat down. My cousin Kim was talking to me, I had just called her and said, you know what, everything's good, I'm good, I'm putting my mama away, and I sat down. They say, I know, I don't know where it come yellow tooth and cross eyed. But I, I jump up. Of course, that's my reaction. I'm not going to sit there and let nobody do a damn thing to me. And I'm going to tell you this I ain't scared of none of y'all. That's the last. I'll take a ass with but I ain't going to be scared of no one. I'm Michael Ann, real time. So they get here. He leaves. I sit back down. He runs in again a second time. Why wasn't he put out that first time? He runs back in there again. I jump up again. Fuck you. Y'all know me. I sit back down. Then here goes all the nephew. He said something to me. I said, fuck you too. Now, it's this. Why y'all mad? 
why are y'all so mad? Why? 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 I ain't seen Marcus. Whatever your name is. First of all, it's still fucked up. I ain't seen your ass. I ain't asked about you. Anytime my mama went to mention his name, I said, I don't want to hear it. He just had a baby. I said, I don't care. And she go, bruh, she do not seem to mention that name to me. I ain't seen them in one. Matter of fact, I actually forgot all about them. So, but you the one in there so bad at that. What you mad about? What you still evil about? Huh. Now, they better be like, see, this is, remember, then I tell you I should have had a boyfriend before then. An old man. A big nigga to jump up and whoop somebody's ass. I should have, you know what? I should have had my man there. Why you little young motherfuckers want to fight an old nigga like me? Either, either it's the young motherfuckers or the big, overweight, my 600 pound life niggas that want to come for me. Why? We'll see you on my 600 pound life shortly. <laughs> you will sweep your way. Trust me. They already uh, talked about what they were. Uh, don't, don't listen to the other shit, sweet reading. Don't, don't listen to the other shit. Tell you went through that. That's how I feel. So look, y'all, don't listen to the other shit. They weren't, listen, that wasn't even playing. That was just, that wasn't playing. Trust and believe. That shit just happened. Trust me, they knew me. They first of all, trust me. Don't listen to the shit that you think you heard, cause that didn't listen to nobody. And if it was playing, they playing poorly. If they did, they they played it poorly. But I thank them, cause now my back kills me. I have to go through emergency. I had to go through emergency with the funeral man, whoever he was. I fell back, but I hit my back. I made a police report there, but at the precinct 10. Yeah. You said, oh, you said my family was planning on that. No, I don't think they planned that together. Because when I walked in, nothing was said. I didn't say nothing to any of them. It was just, it escalated from the cross side one with the yellow tea. Look, if anything, I remember this. My mother, um, my one nephew, and I didn't see him now, I don't know where he was. But you know, I'm not even going to say, I don't even need to talk about them. They're, I don't have, look, we, we, they're not my nieces and nephews. We're not even going to call I get it, baby, but we're not even going to call them that anymore. I, I'm i not saying the word father. I'm not saying the word not to no niece, no nephew. None of that. I am really, you know, I tell my mother this all the time. I said, when you leave here, you the last one of my family members that it's like, it's, that's the rap, is it. So I go through the rest of this life with just me. I go through the rest of this life with just me. Yeah, so we want to see you back alive. You know, my back hurts. My nephew jumped in and tried to, and he attacked me. He attacked me, bitch nigga, but he attacked me. Same way he did when my mama fell on my legs and, and, uh, and her fat ass friend grabbed my arm. That's what you do, bitch. I would really like to set up a match. Just me and you. That way, ain't nobody got to jump in. Just me and you. And I got you by 19 years. In a motherfucking ring in a match. And show you, nigga. When I would love that. Because even the day if the man hadn't got me, I slung him down. I could hurt his ass. You're tiny. You're skinny. Your mind is off. 
You like to try to get somebody down, then do that. But see, when you ain't got no help to do that. <laughs> Come on now. I'm so tired of you trying to sneak a nigga. But that's what you do. You know, you know how many times we done sat out there and watch you walk up out of um, AGH of seeing you doing you? Oh, uh, wait, they actually, yes, they did. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Look, in front of my mama's casket. <laughs> I'm surprised she didn't sit up. I'm surprised. I should have reached down in there and, and, and you know what? See, this is why. If I had a cane with a gun, I would have been out of order. I would have been sitting in jail because I shot up the whole thing. My cousin Kim actually fell on the floor. I looked back, she was on the floor. I said, she said, you knocked me down because I was swinging and going. Because she, everybody's jumping in the middle. I'm minding my own business. I'm sitting there. And people walk in. To have that much, um, that, that much of effect over other people. The people say, I haven't went hard on you. I could go hard as hell on you. I can go hard as hell on here if I want to. What um, his info, we will um, set it up. What do you mean, um, September management? What do you mean? I am just, you know what? I'm not even mad. I am just flabbergasted. I'm laughing. I am laughing. You know what? I'm, it's more sad because they did that or tried to do that. But you're supposed to be in mourning about your so-called grandmother. It was like, fuck her. But this is how ignorant they asses is. I would never go in nobody's funeral and their mama and say some shit like that. This child don't hate you. You hate your motherfucking self. So I did go to the flower place <laughs> and said, we just sent some sick shit. Shit. It is what it is. And with a lot of them, the fight, what's the info? It's um, Marcus Lee Waters, M A R C K U S. Damien Maurice Waters, Lorenzo Mays, M A Y E S, Crystal Mays, Crystal Kiera Mays. Those are the names. Um, Dion, I, I can't let it go. Dion, I'm sitting here feeling what I feel. I'm gonna let it go when I'm going through emergency. I'm gonna go to the. I'm not gonna tell people what hospital. Not one that I've been to at before, but I'm going to the hospital and I'm going to. My back is killing me, and most from the most part of it's the security grabbing me and Damien, Damien Maurice Waters, jumping in, and that's how I fell. And all I was doing was defending myself. It should be on camera. There was no way I should have went to my mother's funeral. I mean, not funeral. <laughs> her wake. And, um, be accosted. Who, who first? September management, who are you? First is, um, Damien Maurice Waters. I use muscles. I, I use muscles. I ain't used in a while. 
I have used muscles. I have not used them in it, but I still use them. Look, um, my back killing me. My back is killing me. Why? Why should my back kill me? Oh, tomorrow. Well, yeah, mine was there today, but, uh, but my back is killing me. Why? It should not be killing me. I can see if I had just had sex, I can understand why my back killing me, but I haven't had no sex. My back is killing me. <coughs> so I was thinking about buying. I was thinking about drink more water for what we are. Drink more water for what we are. I drink a lot of water, I do. You know, I should have went up in there with a group of folk. My bad, no, Dion, I, I, I have a uh, flip disc, a vertebrae, all of that, so it's nothing to do with water. It has nothing to do with water. So, I'm thinking about, I'm not, you know, I keep saying if I go, if I go, I'm going with either a whole lot of people Either a whole lot of people or, you know, the bodyguards. I was waiting on the one bodyguard. I'm trying to hire them bodyguards. Um, I've heard of a lot of stuff at funerals, I mean, at least the wake for funerals. I was not going to hate on nobody. I don't have to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let you guys hear. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me play some of this. I sure aren't. Why you on a my back, my back, especially when I'm walking, my back. And yet here you had people. <laughs> it is so funny. It's so funny. So you had the big ass Obama, big ass silver back King Kong. Boom, boom. What you going to come to do? Look what we love our show, man. I love you guys, too. I love you guys, too. But like I said, I'll be leaving shortly after this. After this, about another month and a half or so, I'll be leaving here. I'm going to be going certain places anyway, and I'm going to be trying to figure out where it is that I want to go, because I won't stay here. The smell of it. And not just Detroit people, but the people that I know. The smell, the mm-mm. Mm-mm. no, 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 mm-mm. you can't love a woman. Tell me how much you love a woman, but pay her want to try to hurt the person that she loved, that she gave birth to. That don't make sense. But you know what that is? That's that insensitivity that comes from their parents. And what they had with their parents, that's that insensitivity. Just like a lot of people thought when she got on the stand and, and was doing it for them when they found him guilty. You know, we, we always talked about that. She said, well, you know, it wasn't that, that. It was that. She, we already got two nephews in, in prison, and she didn't want a third one. That had shown me she did that. You don't think me and my mama talked about that? We do that. She begged me for her forgiveness for that. But I told her, I said, for you to be sitting there. She said, but they found some guilt anyway, didn't they? I said, they sure did. Me and my mama talked about everything, everything, good or bad, we talked about. Okay, so look, let me show y'all this. Maybe y'all can hear this. One thing that I've always did is, one thing that we always did was this, is we always were honest in there. And when my mother, um, what's this? Where is the man? 
ready, ready. Let's see one more. I'm not, we're going to hear one of these. Let me turn this all the way up. Hold on. This is my mother. She said, help me. This, wait, this is, hold on. This is a time I stayed on the phone with my mother over and I mean over 24 hours over 24 hours she wouldn't talk to anybody but me and I knew I was losing her then because the medicine had her talking a certain way and yet here we go with this this is just a short one but I have so many of these Jimmy said, Mama, we need to pray. Pray this thing away. This is her and I talking. We did this every night for almost a month. Every night I called my mom. 24 hours I had been on the phone. <laughs> now, it hurts me to hear her say, help me, help me, help me, right? But, I, you know, I was talking to her, and they was like, you know, that's some medication. I said, I get it, but I knew she was going through something. But then she says, I need a sexual partner. Did y'all catch that? Look, my mom said, I need a sexual partner. Wait, hold on. This is one of
I said, Mama, I'll be there tomorrow. But mind, mind you, I was on the phone for the long run. I said, how about this? Tell Michelle, instead of dropping Star off tomorrow and keep going, to come in and see me. She said, Michelle, I said, yeah, Michelle. Who is Michelle? You know who she never forgot who they were? Never. Because I was a constant fixture. Whether it was being there physically or on that phone. And there was times where I was the one last time you talked to. I had her. I don't know. But anyway. home, go home where? I don't know. Want to see cats? Oh. Want to go home on see cat John Crump? You know what? I have so many videos of her not knowing some of them her complaining about some of them, and yet people mad at me. They should be saying, thank you. Thank you for being there. Thank you for, I did it because I love my mom and I'm first and foremost, but and if you're going to honor her memory, it would have been too much like right for them to say, you know what, I know my mama loved her, I mean, and not y'all mama, but whatever y'all call it. Loved him. And when nobody else had her back, he did. When nobody else was there, he was. Some of y'all, she didn't even know y'all name. I, I have videos where I have mentioned y'all name. This one's, but she didn't even know who y'all were. But you know who reminded her who y'all were? Me. Before she went in the hospital, the very last call I got, she called me, and I was doing something, and I called her back, and I said, hello. She said, baby, she said, I said, I said hey, what's going on? She said, I just wanted to call you and let you know. She said, you know how much I love you, right? I said, mama, yeah. She said, no, you know I, how much. I really love you, mine. You are my child. I love you. My mother has never talked. Well, I knew she loved me, but the emphasis she put on it and how she made it feel. What I what I'm gonna be upset about? What I got to be upset about? I had closure. Yes, I was a little upset about her. A lot upset about her being taken off of 
life support before I got to that. I think that that was done maliciously and on purpose. And nobody can tell me that any different. It was a bunch of people around her that she was not familiar with, that was not there on a daily basis. But that's what people do when they want to have one up on you. Where they can say, well, you know, I was there when my mama took her last breath. But <laughs> let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. Yes, with God, I got them all. But let me tell you something. I would have rather, come on somebody, this is going to be deep. I don't know who I'm talking to. I would rather have a lifetime of moments when she had breath than to only be there when she took her last breath. Come on, what? Let me say this for the, for the family members that's in the back, in the bushes, listening. I would have rathered had a lifetime of moments when she had breath than had one moment on her last breath. It don't get, see, God is a God, He's a way maker. Did God just explain that to me? Come on, somebody. I got to keep saying that one because that makes me feel better. That makes me feel better. I'd rather have a lifetime of moments when she had breath than one moment when she was taking her last breath. Let me get a little deeper into that. I would rather have a lifetime of significant moments, important moments, special moments when she had breath than one somber, sad, unhappy, gut-wrenching, painful moment when she was taking her last breath. And that's the only moment y'all can take away from me? Have that moment. That's the only moment you can get? Have that moment. That's a sad moment. It was a short moment, a last breath moment. I have a lifetime of breath, breathy moments, full of life moments. Come on, somebody. I think I'm going to do a whole video just on that. Would you want the last breath or a lifetime of breath? The living breath. Mm. The living breath. Come on, somebody. Mm -mm. Oh, that thing is powerful, what I just said. That thing was powerful, what I said. Let me, my cousin was supposed to send me a picture of the, um, the flowers. You're simply the best, better than all the rest. Hold on, what was that? Um, somebody just sent me a cash app. Thank you, guys. Just a ten, just some money on a bodyguard, y'all. Just some money on a bodyguard. Miss Gillis, thank you. I appreciate that. Come on, somebody. Appreciate you so much. I truly do. Oh, and uh, Miss Bryant, thank you. I appreciate you as well. I didn't see that. You know what I think? A lot of them are upset about. What God is able to do, come on, somebody. It's going to make me want to, come on, somebody. I would rather have a lifetime of moments, come on, somebody. What? Who? 
where, when, why, and what. what how can I get this off of here? Oh, oh, look, y'all, look what um, Gianna Stacy said, the flowers. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Stacy. Oh, them are so beautiful, G.I. Okay, y'all, let me, let me turn this up. He said, what's wrong? A phone? No. Uh, Robert. Girl, they tried to fight me today at the funeral. They tried to fight me at the funeral today. Can you believe that? They wanted all this. They wanted to fight me. I got to press charges. Hold on, man. Y'all got to get this mic. I got to press charges. Ah. They tried to fight your boy. But who is this? Come on, somebody. What you say? Yeah, baby, they try, you know, I should have waited and had all y'all go there with me. But they trapped me today. I'm just, you know, but I'm making police report. I have to. But y'all know what? I'd rather have a lifetime of breathy moments. I'd rather have a lifetime of moments when she had breath in her body than to be there on the last breath. Come on. What? Walking in and wanted to fight me. Huh? Why you want to fight? Why y'all fight me? What we fight about? We gotta fight for your right to fight. Why y'all wanna fight me? Didn't y'all have the last moment? Didn't y'all get the last moment? Didn't y'all get that last moment? I didn't. I didn't need it. Made up every excuse in the world of why. Unbelievable, it is what it is. It is what it is. I didn't pop a button. I didn't pop a button. And so, I'm not even mad at anybody that would go to that funeral tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going. If I go, I'm going with bodyguard. Because I see now, you bitches want to fight. You bitches like to fight. 
now, not the time to be fighting. Now I wasn't in time to be checking me either. Yeah, Angelina, I know it's going to be okay, baby. I know it's going to be okay, but you know what? In my, in my crawl space, I said, you know what? You shouldn't be, you know, you should have walked in here with a group of people. Because it was just me by myself. That's what I felt like. That's what I felt like. My sister Angela did come over and sit and just kind of look. What could she really do? What could she really do? Um, I need to give a bunch of people twenty dollars a piece just to sit for two an hour. Let them know. Anybody that want to donate their um, not money, but donate their um, time, big girly people, because this one guy's so big and fat. Called in and said, "What's got? What's y'all colors? Ain't no colors. It's a gray color because it's gray all over that pony. It's gray all over the pony. I've never seen so many disrespectful people at a over my mother's casket." Here I am. People coming at me at my mother's funeral. Why y'all mad at me? Y'all couldn't even wait to ask the question. Y'all couldn't even wait till the funeral was over tomorrow and I'm going to the car and run up. Y'all could not have waited. That's what I don't get. That's so dumb. Why couldn't y'all have waited? If y'all wanted me that bad, why not wait? You know why y'all so upset and mad? Because you only wish and hope that you had those moments. Wish I show y'all some of the videos where I laid there, Nanny would cry and say how much she loved me. And um, I can't even know her name, my Nanny. Her name is Michael Ann, Mama. I kissed my mama and hugged and wiped her head and, and all of that. All right. Why are they doing this to you? Because it's jealousy. It's jealousy. I can, my mouth can get a person together, and I've let them have it. And the, and the biggest thing is this. I'm unapologetic for anything. You know, some of them stayed with my mama, paid her nothing. Some of them come on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, um, even in your mind, if you think about going to a funeral with a gun, that's bad. That is not a, that's not a cool thing to do. Oh, I better charge up my, uh, <laughs> look. First of all, the police already knew where I was. I'm on a tether, dumbasses. Dumbasses, I'm on a tether. What more did y'all... I'm on a tether. What the hell? I should have just pressed my tether. Is it a button you can press? Help. Help. Let's go. You know what? I've never, the worst type. It's all right. I've seen people like that. Somebody couldn't even run at me. They hit one really slow. <laughs> But I'll be in the mind for one hot second to do one thing, and I'm out. I don't need to be a part of the funeral. I don't need to do none of that. Let them have that moment. They need it. Let them have that. I'll have something separately on my own, and whoever want to come can come. Who don't want to come, don't come. People that know me, most of my family knows. 
dead. It was me. It was me. I'm not going to go to a repast with a bunch of motherfuckers that I don't like. Why would I do that? Everybody want to give something and jump up, but what? Come on. Why, why, why weren't y'all there in an the ugly moment? So I was cutting her toenails and freezing down and scraping her feet and lifting her breast to wash and blowing her nose and wiping her butts. Those are the moments I have too, as long as with the, the laughing moments where we laughed and joked. All of those moments me and my mama had. And I live in them and I love it that we have it. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Thank you. Thank you. Are oh, they calling? Like the this. Bullshit, but I'm good. What's going on? What's up with you, cuz? You know I love you, bro. I know I'm tripping on these motherfuckers, but I'm good. You alright, man? I'm trying to come down there, but you know how you know who you around right now. I'm I'm on live on my YouTube, but I'm sitting here. I just yeah, you know neither neither and neither Michelle don't really get along and I ain't got time for no problems, you look, they just tried to bite me at the uh, at the weight, so um, Marcus came up and said something, and, um, uh, oh, it's a bunch of shit. It's a bunch of shit. I said, why y'all so mad? Because y'all wasn't there? Why y'all made it? Wait, why? look, it's funny. Why y'all won't? What? It, do. I mean, right in front of Mama's castle. Can you believe that? Wow. So, um, if I do go to my, you know, it, it'll be just to get my flowers that I, People are ordered from my YouTube and me. Because I'm thinking about doing something totally different from them. But um, if I do, I'm going with bodyguards. Because, you know, who does that? That's crazy, Michael. My camera and I went. That you would think that them bitches would have let that go. Whatever they, what you're mad about. You're mad because I'll get your ass together. But to walk in there, and I'm sitting down, man, in my own business. Michael. What? I'm going to have to hang up the car back. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I hear you. Oh, you can hear me? I can't see you. I can't see me. Yeah. Well, you, you know, um, it's a lot of people coming down. So me, I'm not even going to stay there for the whole thing. I'm not, I don't even know if I'm going. I don't have to because, see, a lot of people trying to get moments. I already had a moment. There you go. I had moments last night. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, and then I wouldn't go to the repass. I mean, the thing at the AGA. Look, I'm so tired of Damien trying to come after me when somebody's holding me. Today I had to do that. And why would you always want to jump in on the end? Um, and he'd be at AGA. There's no way I'm going to go there. I'm not going there. Um, oh, they're doing the repass at AGA. They're they supposed to. I don't know. I'm going to ask everybody to come with me. I'm going to do something totally different than ask them to come with me. No, AGH ain't got no windows on it. No, shout out to AGH. Thanks for the offer. That's crazy. But I'm going to go through emergency now so because uh, my back hurt. And to make this police report, another police report. Okay. Who does that? I'm sitting there and pray. But y'all talking about y'all love her. But you fuck her with the one she loved the most. That's right. But that's, that's right. You know what? That's, that's where right. that's where that comes from. And and, and it really trips me out. And I and I keep saying this. Marcus said, Hey, this is my cousin, y'all. I'm talking to Marcus was like, Hey, you know, he said, You just mad because your mama loved me more than you. I said, You should be mad my mama loved you more than your mama. I, I there's no competition. And a lot of them come at me. Because there's times that they thought, I don't care what, I'm her child. You can never, you can never ever surpass that. But like I said, there's a lot of people that, you know, when she was in that hospital, it was just me sitting there. I didn't see nobody else. And 
Why didn't you want to fight me before that? You knew I was sitting in the hospital with her. Why didn't you come to the hospital and kick my ass if that's what you want to do? Why wait to her funeral? I go live. I go live everywhere I'm at. Why didn't you come to the hospital and fuck me up if that's what you really wanted? Why wait to her funeral? Because because you never came to the hospital. You could have got me. I stayed in the hospital with her so long that if anybody had a fucking issue, why didn't you come to the hospital and kick my ass? Why wait to her funeral? I'm just not going to ever understand that. That's terrible, Mike. And how disrespectful you were you were to the person you say you love. There you go. You get what I'm saying? No, Michelle you too. She still to fight. No, no. She, look, she, she tried to run every damn thing. But the last fight she had was with mama. Mama called me and said, this bitch just pulled my hair and, and tried to take my pill. That's the, the last conversation I had that she had about Michelle. So and Michelle left her house for that. So I don't know, but everybody mad at me. For what? I don't even think about it. I swear, I'd be too busy doing my YouTube. I don't pay no attention. Every time she would mention certain people, man, I said, I don't want to hear it because I don't talk to them. And I don't need to know shit about them. And I said, please do me a favor, don't mention my name and them. See, I have a lot of I have a lot of them that will watch from the bushes. And say, you know, tell me what I've been saying. I do me. But I'm leaving um, for now. It's no, not my gone now. It's no use for me staying here. So, I bet you that's right, Michael. Yeah, ain't no use. No, I'm going. I'm, it's, I'm not going to say it on YouTube here, but I'm going one place to do something. Then I'm going down to another place, stay there for a minute just to see how it is. And then from there, I'm going to try to figure out where I actually, because wherever I go, I want to make sure I'm there for a minute. But I'm not staying here. There's no reason to stay here in Detroit. Hear that, bro? Yeah. So what's been going on with you? Nothing much. Uh, right, right. I thought that one. Do something with they sell. Right. Oh, how old are they now? Robert, he's 15 in the ninth grade. Dante, eight. Mm. He's the third. Dante is the one I held at uh, Aunt Billy for the ride. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, it, isn't yeah. that something? Aunt Billy died in February. My grandma Gigi died in February, and Mama died in February. Isn't that something? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, it's a coincidence, thing. You know, it's amazing. It's a shame how it was a lot of people had issues at Aunt Billy's thing, but they let it go, at least for her funeral. Mm -hmm. But yet, you had these ignorant ass motherfuckers. And I'm sitting there just minding my own business. You got Mark Wallace. I, I didn't even hear what he said, but I just jumped up and said, bitch, get the fuck out of my face. And, and Kim Vins jumped up to try to stop her, and then he came back in the room. So I called the police. But when I called the police, they tried to flip the whole thing. You got cameras. And so why would I want to be around? If that happened today, why would I want to go tomorrow and be around that shit? And then you know, like, you can't speak for yourself, Michael. You get what I'm saying? You just said it. You just said it. Why would I? I don't want to be around that. Mama, I, I can't even mourn my mama because you got other bitches. Uh, uh, do I, what, do I hire bodyguards and stay in, you know what I'm saying? Man. Because I'm not going to go, I'm not going to go there in case, if I go there, I got to be prepared in case that shit happen again. You spent over almost six hundred dollars worth of flowers. Worth of flowers. Uh -huh. Love your only son. Four C gay loves you. You know what I mean? Other yeah. other other subscribers have sent flowers. Those are the only flowers there. Ain't none of them bought ain't none one of them grandchildren bought a motherfucking flower. So instead of worrying about fun. instead of worrying about whooping my head, whoop somebody else has to get somebody by a flower, god damn it. Instead of oh, try, right. try, trying to one two me, one two a motherfucking bouquet of flowers. <laughs> <laughs> instead of trying to instead of trying to knock me out, why don't you knock out some flowers? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> ain't seen man flowers for one. They mad as hell, but ain't seen man flowers. Ain't saw 
even the flowers that go over the casket. I started to get that, but I didn't know, you know. Mama had an insurance policy. Only cover the floor, but I don't know what they're doing. They took off life support before I even they, before I got there. They don't heard about that. And I told them not to. But, but she had just said to me, Michael, you gotta hurry up, I'm dying. Those are the last words my mama said. Y'all knew what she said to me, y'all knew what she wanted. But she did something different. Because not to what she wanted, but to spite me. But you can't spite me because, like I just said, I have a lifetime of moments when she had breath, not a moment when she had a last breath. That's right, Mike. I'd rather have that than, than that moment when she had that last breath. And I'm telling you, it is well with me. I ain't mad about nothing. Like I told you, ain't man tear came out my eye because I didn't say something to her, I didn't do something for her. The only tear I got is, She's not here, and I can't talk to her on this side no more. There you go, Michael. See, they running around upset. Now, maybe, uh, I, maybe I should have went and saw her in the hospital a little more. Maybe I should have, because a lot of times they didn't call her. Um, There was times when she was in the hospital. We stayed for five, six days in a row. I stayed on the phone with her 24 hours because I could tell the mess I had her going. And so I would go to sleep. None of her phone never beat. Nobody ever called in. No visitors. Star was the only Star was the only one. And that's because Michelle dropped Michelle would drop Star off and keep going. She wouldn't even go in. So I don't feel guilty. But why y'all why think why are you so mad at me? why are y'all mad? Are you mad about the relationship? Are you mad because I didn't cuss you bitches out because you know I would? <laughs> But, <laughs> and, and, uh, and I ain't getting no ass with it. And see, my thing is, this is the stupid part. Why do it while I'm sitting there in front of my mama's casket? Why not wait till after the funeral we all walk into the car? Why yeah. not Why not snatch me when they carry in the casket or something? Why Why did they? I'm disrespecting you. Right. Why? But uh, you was oh you was gonna try to make it down, but you the way that they feel, huh? Yeah, yeah. You know, Mama would have loved it. Yeah, she looked nice in the wrong color. That's not, that's not her favorite. Purple is not my Mama's favorite color. Purple is her grandmother's favorite color, Granda. So then they got her name spelled wrong. Um, and she was my, oh, we want her in the front. It's got to put her home right across from the clinic. Who want to be across the, the The clinic didn't mean shit to her. The clinic didn't wow. mean a damn thing to her. I would have rather had her funeral at a church. On a boulevard right there. Or somewhere, but not across from a clinic. What the fuck does a clinic have to do? What can we do to help? Help me get a bodyguard for tomorrow. Seriously. I would I would go if I had a bodyguard. I don't know if I can get one on one day's notice. I don't know if what the, the charge is. That is the only way I'm going if I have a bodyguard. Other than that, I'm not going. Because what happened today, it was just me sitting there by myself. You had Crystal, her daddy. He come because I told her. She said something. I said, bitch, if you don't get drunk, no, I'm calling my daddy. Bitch, I didn't give a fuck. But anyway... Called her, her daddy. Uh, then dude tried to, the, it was Mark. Get the fuck out of here. Why? Why y'all? Ain't then one of y'all saw neither one of them at the hospital. I ain't saw neither one of them at the hospital. So for that to happen to me, and I'm just saying, and then I was sitting there talking to Miss Moore, Pat. And she said, we was like, you know how family is. I said, yeah, I said, but tomorrow, if I come, and then that's when um, Big Fat Ass come walking his ass in. Then Crystal runs around. Then here come to And I'm looking like, why are you bitches mad? And why y'all want to wait till this point to get me? Why didn't you get me any other time? I'm always live saying where I'm at. I'm doing a review here. I'm just, I, better stop, I better stop doing that. <laughs> stop, stop. Wow, man. That's crazy. 
just at my mother's funeral. I'm sitting right in the front row looking at the casket. Can you believe That's that? That's terrible, Mike. That's terrible. This is the memory I will have. Um, wait, somebody said, when you do your police order, report ask if they could have an officer there because of what happened. You know what? I should, Siri. I'm going to see that. But yeah, I don't feel comfortable. I'm scared for my, I'm scared for my life. I could have been killed. I'm terrified. I pee. I wet myself a little bit. <laughs> that, that was traumatic. <laughs> but uh, no, for real. I could not believe in my mind. Here I am. Brawling, but well, not a real brawl because they are nobody else. We need it was just Damien trying to. And first of all, whoever the guy was, that's a long story, too. And I don't want to let them have it just yet because in case I decide to go. But you, you, so at the end, and if you got me, and then dude jumps in at the end. I'm already tussled with this man, but you jump in. So I gotta leave this man. This man got me, and I'm trying to, and my back hurt because you know, I've been using a walker for my back. So then Crystal takes my walker, throw it outside. Bitch. Um, dude is trying to fight me on a slide. I have to turn and snatch him, and we both fall on the ground at my mother's funeral. Wow, my. Nigga, you are 30. I, I'm 54. You are 34. That's terrible, my. Do you get what I'm saying? Right. I'm sorry you've been going through something like that, man. Oh, but none of them was nowhere. And them, and them days, I, and I keep saying that. And people say, well, I did it because I love them. But wasn't nobody there when I wiped her ass and, and bought her coochie? Wasn't nobody there when I was washing her feet or, or washing her underarms or lifting her breasts? None of them that if tried to fight me that they was there. Chris is talking about every plane that she caught. You never caught a plane to take care of her like that. Because you caught that plane, and if you did, I don't remember, but you went right back home. So, look, I don't want to be around today. Exactly. Like I was telling, like I was telling them, we were talking about, I was telling them, like, you know, family ain't family no more. Family has been broken. A lot of families have been broke. Yes. Yes. And it's hard to get back to that. Well, you know, it was times when Mama, um, it was times when Mama would mention something, and I was like, look, I don't even want to hear about you. Yeah. I said, you know, don't even mention them to me. And I'm not going to act like, now that she gone, that we all was cool by y'all because we wasn't. I don't have none of my siblings. None of, now they have mine because it was in Mama's phone, and they got Mama's phone. I ain't asked for a dime of Mama's. I ain't, you know, shit that Mama promised me. I ain't even asked for that because it's well with my soul. See, y'all are holding on to that. Y'all are doing that because you have nothing else. I can go right. for the rest of my life and be, right, and be good. I ain't got look. Y'all won't keep safe. Y'all want to run this and run that. But you didn't yeah. run to the hospital. So, yeah. um, if anything, Star needs a motherfucking award of the year. Star was there out of anybody. Shit, Star was there more than me. As much as I would allow her to be. I mean, well, because she lived with Mama the majority wow. of the time. But look, when I, Okay, let me stop. Mama took start start get a whole check, but Mama never got none of it. Mama, I said you ain't getting nothing. Mama said nope, not even. But Star stayed with Mama. And how can Star wash Mama up when she barely can wash herself up? There you go, Mike. So that Star was the key, the, the watcher, and and me and Star was around more than anything, you know. 
ما این تو میری کی ما در مثل نمان so for these people to come in at the last minute and, and play oh I love my nanny I love my my, my, my. stop all that because you didn't love her when it was you, how you gonna love her when it's convenient for you you love her because you paid a cell phone bill one time how about love her love her down in the trenches huh is that your wife with you Hey, how you doing? Oh, I didn't even hear you. Hey. Oh. Well, I oh, I, nothing trying to get a family change. <laughs> <laughs> try to try to swipe some family members out. I mean, you know, for some new ones, but no. I am just tripping because. I have people, wait, well, I do lives all the time at different restaurants. I'm doing a review here where I'm live. You know where I'm at. Why wait to my mother's funeral to feel like you want to run up on me? You could have ran up on me any motherfucking way. But why there? That's, that's a lot of them just feeling guilty. So I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to go tomorrow or... Because I'm not going to go through the, the same thing. But now I'm going to go through the emergency because my back is messed up. Did why do I always take three or four people to want to fight? Uh, that's what I'm saying. I don't got time for all that. I'm going to come down there, but I'm not your victim and I ain't got time for all that. See, I didn't even know you and Michelle had a problem because I, I don't talk to them. Or whoever, but and it's a shame that it got to be like that, you know. It's a shame they got to be like that. And look, I'm on a tether, so I should have just the police knew where I was. <laughs> I'm on a tether, I should have just um took this tether off, they would have been in a hot second. The yeah, well, no, I'm at one. I'm at, I'm at one place. I'm just. Leave. I had went to the flower place to see if I could stop them from sending the flowers, but they okay. they had already delivered them. Cause like I said, uh, I, we, I bought two flowers over almost over five hundred dollars. Then my subscribers sent flowers. Those are the only flowers there. So instead of like I said, instead of y'all trying to fight me and whip my hair, whip up some money for some flowers, bitches. That part, y'all. Yeah, that's you know, what I said. The world, I mean. If they had felt that way. Hey, uh, hey, Alice, say hey, good evening, Mika. So I am just really tripping. Who's the manager for the night? Who's the manager tonight? Okay. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, I'm just a little, um, I'm really, I'm not tripping because I, I expected nothing different from the asses. I shouldn't have went in there by myself. I should have went in there with bodyguards or a lot of people, like I said, I started to do. But right. I was giving them the benefit of the doubt. I was like, no, they wouldn't do that at, um, the funeral, but just to show you how right. ghetto the ass is. So I'm gonna look around for, um, hopefully I can get a bodyguard back, at least two at the most, tomorrow that can carry. Tomorrow. Yeah, that can carry. Um, but I'll just duck, have a shootout. We have, but I, cause I can't be around that. I really have can't. A no, I'm saying, I don't know. Hey, I should have put, I, I sh- Look, that's what I'm saying too, Mike. I got time. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, Mike. Uh, Damn, man, I got called back to get the key line off. Okay, look, we'll go ahead because this is what I'm about to go dead. Tell Rob, I'm going to call y'all once I get to the hospital. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Love y'all. That's another change. You got cousins saying, you know what? I'm not going to be there because I don't want no drama. That's, they live in Minnesota. 
Hey, Daisy. Hey, Gray. Somebody told me earlier, they was like, you know, I can't wait for you to stop being so angry. Or when you go through this angry phase. But I have to say, yeah. It's shit like this that makes you angry. When you have ignorant people doing ignorant shit to you, it's that makes you angry. Then you have somebody say, Michael, why are you doing this lie? Why didn't all them... How about, not Michael, why are you doing this? I understand you're doing this live. They came at you. I should have had my lover there. Six, two, three hundred and something pounds. Maybe they would have whooped some ass. They could have combated the other big bitch that walked in. Ain't nothing funny than somebody really big walking towards you out of breath. I almost gave him my hell a hold up. Here you go, take an info. Shit, you, you just as tired as I am. I'm calling my daddy. Is that really your daddy? Didn't he say what? You probably look, that ain't my dog. Them ain't my kids. Get the hell out of here. All because they didn't want to pay child support. <laughs> Who denies their own children because they don't want to pay child support? Not me, because I don't have any. I said, don't come here with that bullshit, Lorenzo. What? What? Get the fuck out of here. Really? Really? I don't see you running up to no big niggas like that. Nope. Let me throw this away. Uh-huh. <laughs> So, uh, I don't know, y'all. It's going to be a big hit. Drop the link. Leave. Okay, I will. Huh? And like I say, y'all, uh, I went in there with a whole vibe. Like, you know what? I ain't got nothing to say to nobody. I said, I'm going to walk in there, do me, and not say nothing to nobody. But then you have people come in, one go off. I really don't trust two of them. I think they had sex, one of my nieces and nephews. That's just me. Um, which is what I said, it's like they were planning on this. I bet you the one little stupid fuck was. But you know what? I'm planning on it. I'm, it's good with my soul because you know what? I don't feel nothing bad about nobody. I mean, I, I don't like them, but I'm saying nothing when it comes to my mama. See, they gotta live with what they did. They gotta live not about they gotta live about not being there. Well, I'm sorry, why should I drop this lady? Oh no, I'm gonna pop this, okay.
Okay. Pull up the pallet. Okay, y'all. So, with all that being said, wait, why are you? Let me see. Hold on, y'all. Hey, Michael. Michael. Hey, Michael. I still can't hear you. <laughs> I'm not sure.
Okay, can you hear me now? Good evening, Mika. I was trying to make you. Uh, let me um, invite you again. Why you get down? Why you get down? Good evening, Mika. That was the whole purpose. I was getting down so y'all could hear me. That's another thing. I noticed this. You had people come in here, come here when my family weren't near. Because you got a lot of fucking nerves, big ass, to walk up in here while at my family thing. I bet you couldn't do that at the funeral. Because, I, look, it's amazing how all of my cousins are calling me now like, you all right? Oh, that wouldn't have happened if I would have been there. But you love, don't, don't call my mama mama-in-law. She ain't your, she ain't your mama. Your mama dead. Just like mine, your mama been dead. Your brother died a day after birth, or the same day. Grace said, I couldn't and wouldn't let anyone do this to my brother, knowing how uh, close your mother is about their son, crazy your mother is about their son. Usually a strong, about, and to be the only son. Can y'all hear me now? Um, good eating with Mika. I put, uh, hey, Alice. You know, that's the problem. You got grandsons that want to be closer than, than the son. You got grandchildren that think they're more important than the children. I, I just can't. I don't get it. I don't get that. I'm good eating with Mika. I put that um, link back in there. But yeah, that was a cousin of mine. I got a lot of cousins coming from out of town. You know, maybe I should have waited till family was there, more family. Ones that I knew would have jumped up and whooped them little niggas' asses. He said, yeah, you right, Mike. My um, brother was the only son. I mean, walked in there with some shit. Why your little young ass come at me? I'm old enough to be your motherfucking daddy. You ain't. Go whoop a nigga your ass. Didn't you run? When the, when the Tillman's was fucking you up, didn't you run? When you fought Karen Hope's son, Julie, didn't you run in my house crying? Hmm. You ain't fighting no niggas your age because you's a bitch. Fight the old man. Somebody gonna fuck you up. I'm surprised I ain't been in none of my nephews for a while. Ain't about that life. You ain't about that life. What older people you are, but you ain't about that life. Mm -mm. I don't care what Uncle Leslie said it did. I would have never fought Uncle Leslie. Uncle Leslie got drunk and did a lot worse shit than me. Not dumb, but said it. But yeah, y'all want to run up on me. But anybody that hit their woman will run up. Because then you fight past Shay, ain't that her name? Anybody that hit their woman will, you right. What did I, you ain't really no fighter. You, you fight her. Don't fight me. Fight her. Come on. Can you leave the baby at home? Power step. That's why I tell you, it's two of them. And I hate saying that. And I was telling my cousin Kim, cousin Kim, I will not. Even if they did and gone, and I feel like the rate they going, they'll be gone before me. Trust and believe I outlive them little motherfuckers. Um, hey, CMA, I'm sorry for your loss. But thank you, Simple Ramona. I'm past the loss. It's just very disrespectful ass children. And now they old ass daddies getting into it. The fuck? I know motherfucker took so long and so slow to walk to me. I could have ran. He would have never caught me. <laughs> Wobbling like a turtle. I started to get my extra. You can't run.
I know they got, listen, you can't keep coming when you done slept and you done laid in my house, you done ate my food. Do stole, uh, do stole, Damien stole Andre's fucking computer thing from my house. Ate my food and you fuckers come to turn to me like, get the, but I'm telling you, y'all gonna be dead and gone before me. You gonna be dead and gone. Keep thinking that. You're going to be dead and gone. And I'm not going to gloat. I will not gloat if something happens to y'all. I will not gloat. But what I will do is smile. I'm going to send a damn flower to say good. <laughs> good. You know what I mean? I mean that. Good. Finally. Karma. That's what you get. Come on. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Who does that? Mm. I guess good eating with Mika is um, busy. Oh, I'm having heartburn. I'm having real bad heartburn, y'all. Ella said, uncle, I don't know how that. You know how many times my uncle Leslie said I'll kick the chakras up with y'all chairs. You ain't shit, little motherfucker. And we'll be drunk half the time. And you know what I did? I let it go because you know what? I stayed at his house. Good. Why you Why you drop down? I'm good to make I was putting it in it. But I'm just saying. You know, but at some point, I don't have any children. I didn't have to do a damn thing. I didn't have to do a damn thing for none of them. You know why I did it? Because they was my mama's daughter's kids. And I did it time. I did it for my mama. It wasn't even for the siblings. Me and my sister Sonya don't have no, no kids. Mm -mm. No, we don't. No, we don't. Did y'all hear me earlier today say I should not go to the wait? Did y'all hear me? Did y'all hear me earlier today say, oh, I'm sorry, good evening, Mika. Did I do that? Oh, hold on. Hey, Michael. Hey, look, did you hear me earlier? I don't know if you watched my... No, I didn't hear you. I... Oh, I was at the Coney Island, and I was like, wow. I was like, I really mm -hmm. don't want to go to the wait. I said, I really don't want to go to the wait or the front one. Oh, Lord. Because you, you know how you get... Um, a lot of, you know, because it's a lot of jealousy. It's a whole lot of jealousy. And well, everybody, well, we know the 4C game know how you and your mama was real close. So we know. And that's nothing I'm making up. Y'all saw that. No, it's not. Club. It's not nothing you making up. That's real talk. So, I mean, to anybody that want to get mad about it, I guess, I, I say, hey, what the, what the hell? I mean, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> and it, look, it's just such, it's just such a trip that um, for them to come at me the way they did today. Because the one nephew came in, that was crazy was, though. He was foaming at the mouth. His, wait, what his oh. eyes already already crooked? So I, I first of all, but he read and he was going. You mad because your your grandmother gone, but you disrespecting the fuck out of her by talking to Why the man. And she and to, she don't even know you disrespecting her because she dead and gone. Listen. Because of the man that she chose over you many a time, because I'm her son. She said to him, she said, hold on, that's my son. What more? The same way your mom was supposed to love you, that's how she loved me. And it bothered them. And like I said, there was a many a time where it right. was, nobody was there but me. So oh, we I'm know that, mad. Michael. You don't have to explain that. They they see it too. If they doesn't watch. A plethora of your videos, they know that you have been there from day one. So it's nothing. 
it's not that to it's fine. I mean, so instead and of that's your at, mom. So come on now. Yeah. Instead <laughs> of looking and saying, you know what? I may not like him, but he did take care of the woman I love. Exactly. Um, and, and respect did, it. And did my niece got into it who, I, I, not even my niece, my, my, my oldest sister's daughter, uh, <laughs> came and she <laughs> just saying a lot. And I'm like, shut the fuck up, fat bitch. I said that. But she said some words to me. I'm calling right. my daddy. So this is how he get. I'm calling my daddy. Uh-huh. So her daddy, her daddy come. He now he big old fat funky motherfucker. So my thing is this. But your, you didn't call your daddy to go to the hospital and see your mom, your grandmama. You you didn't call wait, just the same daddy that said you <laughs> wasn't here. Why are you calling your daddy now? Why didn't you call your daddy and say, Can you go check on my grandmama? Because you don't live here. Right. But we can call we can call our parents for some bullshit. That's this crazy. is what I didn't get. So now, but that's because she got into it. Then you had another nephew. As we're going, he comes. And I'm looking like, why are you bitches so mad? Wow. I know why y'all mad, though. Because y'all wanted my mama to hate me so bad and she never would. <laughs> they, they <laughs> Come tried, on, somebody. <laughs> they tried everything. They booked. They talked about me to her. But... She never ever wavered, baby. That's they, crazy. I, I know. I have so many videos of her and me on YouTube. I yeah, I promise you, she was the clap bad Was and she because <laughs> she would let it. your ass have it in the trump of a dime. Oh, uh, don't put me on the, don't put me on here if you don't want me to let you have it. <laughs> and she love, and she loved getting on here. Yes. I, it it kind of gets me when I, you know I get so teary eyed when I look at the video, especially that one. Yeah. She was like, "Bitch," she said, "Ow!" I said, "Don't hit me no damn more." <laughs> <laughs> and um, to hear that, but you know, and I have so many recordings. Just like I played that one recording where, and to show you how. Yeah, constantly- you had you had when you was in the um um hospital, and she was in there or whatever. Mm-hmm. And you was like, my mama is calling. I got to get off the phone. You know what I'm saying? You was like, I got to end this live because yeah. my mama calling now. Oh, we we know. Well, I yeah. do. Says that you know, I be in there. <laughs> so yeah. I can't speak for everybody, but I know. But you cannot tell me that you care about somebody mm-hmm. and then do that to their child or try to do that to their child right in front of her while she's laying in the casket. Yeah, that's some disrespectful ass shit. And then you had the funeral home that I had the little issue with. So here's a man that automatically, he ain't stopping nobody but coming towards me because I didn't jump up and said, now I'm nothing up, I'm on 10. But I was sitting there minding my own business. Right. So my nephew came up to me. I mean, not my nephew. My, my not even Michelle's son, Crooked Eye Mark, um, <laughs> came in here. I'm, I looked up, I didn't know what he was talking about. I jumped up. <laughs> They pull, they what? What? Crooked eye mark? Crooked eye. Wait. Crooked eye mark. <laughs> yeah, crooked eye, crooked eye mark. It's always been crooked. Uh, oh, God. So, <laughs> so look, he come in the first time, rah, 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 and I'm sitting next to my cousin Kim, and I look. So I jump up. They grab him. He taking his coat off. You want to fight me in the front of my home right in front of me? I have not talked to this motherfucker. In over two, three years. I don't even know you. Every time my mama would mention his name to me, my mama tried to tell me he had a child, another child. I said, I don't care, mama. I don't want to hear it. I wouldn't even allow her to mention his name to me. I said, I don't, he don't exist to me. I said, he don't exist. I know that, but he don't exist to me. So why out of all this time, I'm sitting at a funeral, you walk up one time, they pull you out, you come back again. Bitch, it didn't scare me. It just pissed me off and made me understand how disrespectful and motherfucking ignorant your ass is. That part. To do that, in fr- the woman you say you love, but you stand in front of the casket trying to fight her child that you know she loves. Why? Exactly. And why That's crazy. Point, why, why wouldn't you do it any any other place that I am? And you better be careful because why you did that you know, you made Kim Ben's fall. You know how I many brothers she got? Oh, wow. My cousin, you know what I mean? I just told her one brother. He said, wait a minute, what? 
He said, how you doing? Cut? I said, I'm messed up, man. He said, I know that because everybody know how much me and my mama is. I said, no, because they tried to fight me. He didn't even know. I said, they knocked your sister down. He said, what? Oh, I what? said, yeah. They, they disregarded her. What you going to say to her brother's motherfucker? <laughs> now you done started a whole nother beat. <laughs> Right, Ellis said, "Why are you so je-? look? That's the perfect. Why are you so jealous?" There you go. There you go. Uh, but see, Michael Air loves Michael, and ain't nothing they can take. Right. Yeah. I mean, you can't take that away. You was a, a child, so and you was the only son. So I mean, you know what? I can drop a video every day. I I can her. believe I'm that. I can believe that. Her. And Thanks. I know it probably irked their nerves. To see her, but you know what? The four C gang loved her. That's right. They That's right. Her. She would send. They sent her to bingo. That's Look, right. You didn't see nobody else at bingo. Who you see at bingo? Me and my mama. That's right. Me and mama That's at white. Crazy. Me and mama at subway. Me and mama. Me and mama. Me and mama. I That's- didn't. Didn't mention any one of their asses. <laughs> No, you did I'm not. Sick. No, you did Thanks not. That's Nico. crazy. Going up to be a strong uncle Mike, we know how. But you know what? I never in my wildest dreams thought because I said, maybe I need to get a bodyguard that day. And I was like, you know what? I hope these bitches ain't that idiot. Boy, <laughs> did they prove me wrong. They pulled you wrong. <laughs> Ignorant ass. <laughs> Motherfucker. And try to yeah. let you have it at your mama's shit. Yeah. The big fat fuck. His <laughs> daughter. The, the funeral man. The one that... I was like, okay. I rolled it on the floor at my mama's motherfucking wake. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> this can't be happening. I started on purpose just fall, fall back into the casket and make it fall over. See how they felt. Oh, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> now, now you love a pick up, bitch. <laughs> they might the have shit and pissed on themselves and really ran Look, in. You know what I should have did while they were trying to fight me? <laughs> Just climbed yeah. in the casket and laid on top of my mama. See what they would do there. <laughs> Hit me now, bitch. <laughs> Just knock over the whole castle with me and my mom in this uh, motherfucker. <laughs> I would lay right there with a what? But I think what it is, a lot of them, y'all are going through hurt. Not, not, mm-hmm. not, I'm not going to say hurt guilt. Y'all right. are guilt. Y'all are guilt written because yeah, that's yeah. That's true. <clears throat> I was on the phone with her one time, and the person mm-hmm. walked in and, and ran up on me. I said, "Who was that?" She, she said, "Mark." I said, "Oh, I don't even want to hear it. I'll call you back." She said, "Oh, he just dropped star off. He left right out. You didn't even sit there a minute with your damn grandmama." <laughs> wow. Because I was even gonna be nice then and get off the phone because I didn't even want to. I don't like hearing his voice. I was getting off. No, really, his voice irks me. Oh, oh I wow. I want to hear your motherfucking voice. So I got. Oh, that's okay. real bad. That's bad, right. bad. That, that is one that I say he can die tomorrow and I would not go to his funeral. I oh, just my won't go to the other one's funeral either. Oh, goodness. And people will say what it is. You ain't gonna, I'm, you're not going to be in my house, have lived in my house, ate my food when you couldn't at your mama's. And so we stopped your ass from being taken, but yet you gonna grow up and disrespect me? Get the hell out of here! I know that shit, right? Get the hell out of here! Yeah, you on. all the way over disrespectful. <laughs> um, the plum, they plum ignorant. It's not your mama, exactly. Grace said, "Get it." I should have got a cast. I should have had somebody videotaping it. Who that video would have went viral? Hit I guess it would have. <laughs> and you on top of your mama, then uh, uh, Mama Michael, 
Mama Michael come out on top and then they looking <laughs> crazy. Like, what the hell? <laughs> I should have been like, get these bitches, mama. <laughs> <laughs> But no, I try to be respectful. Dang, that's walk, crazy, though. That's I walked crazy. The, I walked in the just as nice, and I stood there watching my mama. This mm-hmm. was, that motherfucker was so angry that if I had been at the casket, this bitch might have ran up and hit me in the back of the head while I was looking at my mama. What? I'm telling you, this is the evilness that this old crooked-eyed bitch had. <laughs> Michael, you, know you crazy. I like, always had a crooked eye. And a yellow tooth that we could never get clean. He he got the eye like the uh the man and in, 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 uh uh Friday. No, it's worse than that. Uh uh what what that movie is? Uh Candyman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Ugh. Go stop it. I started looking where he was looking. Where uh, Debo had some big glass eyes on Friday night. But you hear me? Huh? That, look, that my, my no, I can't shame my sister Hemus. My mother's child's son. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Running up. Look at, I'm sitting down and I look up at him. I'm so confused of who he yelling at. I look where the eye looking at. And the eye was looking towards my mama casket. The eye was looking towards my mama casket. I said, I'm a motherfucker where this boy ain't cussing my mama out. Because that's where his eye was looking, but I realized he was talking to me. You know what I'm saying? Michael, you is crazy. That I always been. Look, it's, no, the bad part of it, it's like a lazy eye mixed with a crooked eye. Yeah, that's fucked up all the way around the board. Yeah. Look at that mark. <laughs> Lazy mark and cricket. Lazy and cricket. You might as well just pull both of them bitches out and just put them in the tray can. And get you some more. I'm going to tell you that. You know my mama comedian, right? Right. I Definitely. She, I think she's funny to me. She was like, <laughs> When my oldest nephew was born, mm-hmm. it was his daddy that tried to fight me with his big fat ass. It was his dad. But see, he don't fuck with his daddy the same way mm-hmm. the daughter don't fuck with my sister. I don't know why, but it is what it is. But anyway, um, <laughs> when my oldest nephew was born, my mom was changing his diaper. Mm-hmm. And she was like, oh, Lord, shit. He going to put a hurt on some, somebody's daughter. When he grow up, that's what my mama said. And we, I laugh. I said, mama, we laugh. When right. she changed crooked, lazy eye Mark's diaper when he was born, she was like, oh, Lord. She said, he better have a good job. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear to God. She said, uh, he better have a good job. <laughs> and I'm not making that up. I swear to God, that's what my mama did. Ain't that too funny? Oh, <laughs> she was a comedian in her own right. Oh, honey, Mama Michael didn't give a damn. She really yeah. didn't. And you, you used to tell her, Mama, you can't, you can't be in, embarrassing me in front of my forty gang. Well, don't put me on a damn camera. <laughs> I, look, don't you say? I said, Mama, don't. She said, oh, bitch, because can't nobody let you have it like I can't. I'm the I swear. <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> uh, Ooh, baby, yeah, them I'm last really two, good. three videos you put up there, I was like, hell yeah. That's Mama Michael. Mm-mm. I know. I know. Yeah. Somebody said, Commander need to be the bodyguard. That's right. Hell yeah. That's right. Commander sis. Yeah, she with it. That's my that's my sis right there. She with it. She like me. Uh, look, let's fly Commander down here so she can fuck a bitch up. Yeah, yeah. So we, we'll let a bitch have it for real. Mm. <laughs> well, you know what? Um, I'm going to try to get me a bodyguard tomorrow. 
even though it'd be last minute. Either that, or I'm gonna just pay a whole lot of homeless people a dollar. Uh-uh. Gonna, uh-huh. Y'all want to? Y'all want a sandwich? Okay, come in here and then right after this. No, because you know they got food. I'll send them all to AGH Clubhouse where they. I ain't going, but I'll send them all in there. They was at the funeral. Uh uh-uh, uh, Michael. You have to get. You would have to get through all them smelly people smelling like pee to get to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, shut up. Not all homeless people that way. Shut up. I'm sorry, y'all. Oh, man. You are crazy. But I, I really tripped it out that this motherfucker ran to me like he was foaming at the mouth. Like, Yeah, you. if your back hurt him like that, you might need to go to the hospital for real, though, to get seen about. I am going. Oh, I am going. Uh, then I can talk to the police officers there. Mm-hmm. They're gonna ask me what happened. They're gonna ask me what happened, and what I need to do is tell them the truth. But That's great. Not, I, now, Mark, crooked eyed, lazy eyed Mark wasn't the one. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> it was, it was the guy from the funeral home. But see, mm-hmm. the, he already had a preconceived notion because it's like the owner told him, "Look, watch him. He gonna because." I had to cuss him out about asking about the casket being open. Mm-hmm. So when um, Big Black Heavy Out of Breath D came at me, which was the girl my sister had, mm-hmm. Daddy walked in there. I, I grabbed the, the walker and stand up on it because he's 6'2", 300 some pounds. What I should have oh, did. Oh, Yes, what I should have did was just kept walking around the chairs because he would have got tired out by that time any motherfucker way. He, look, I should have played Miracle around the chairs. Because he was out of breath. First of all, it's my dumb ass. I stood there three minutes and waited on him to get to me. <laughs> you hear me? But, <laughs> why how oh, dumb was I to wait on his fat ass that long to get to me? I look at him out of breath. Look, he taking baby steps at a time to get to me. <clears throat> Legs rubbing, starting to fire. All of that. So... But I'm talking to somebody, and I said, I don't come here with that bullshit, Lorenzo. And he was like, whatever he said, what, what, what? And so I go around. So the funeral man is so aggressive with me. Uh, uh, the, uh, and study pushing me back, but you ain't turned around to this big nigga and stopped him not once. So as right. he's doing that, here come my sister's heavy set um, bisexual daughter. Coming. Oh, God. She just as big as her so-called daddy. And so I got the walker. She snatches the walker from me. So it's three people. Wait, it's three people. So now the man got me. And I, I hate to say this, but I have to put a um I have to um that'll be in my report because mm-hmm. why would you if you look on the camera, I was nowhere the aggressor. You had a big right. ass. Fat turtle walking motherfucker with bad shitty breath coming at me. I didn't know if I was about to get hit or pass out from the breath. But anyway, um, so <laughs> now the man is grabbing me. Okay. And he's taking me towards the door. Now you try to put me out. My bag is there. Everything uh-huh. just take so you just taking me. And so here go my niece trying to hit me with not my niece, the big bisexual, gumpy, six foot two. Uh-huh. You know how your teeth. She got baby teeth, but she's in her 40s or damn the 30s. But anyway, I, I can't stand people to smile and got baby teeth, but you 37 years old. She got, got baby teeth and she in her 40s. I'm yeah. dead. So, so she anyway. ain't never outgrew her baby teeth. Right. I'm done. So, so anyway, she is trying to hit me with the, the um my walker. And I'm still, you know, you can kick my ass and I'm still going to cuss you bitches out. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> just, just deal me. So as I'm getting towards the door, now the man from the front is, I'm mean, being aggressive. So right. here comes the other nephew. Mm-hmm. He's going to try to swing in. So there's four people against me. Wow. Now, I ain't got no hit or done. You see how cute I am. But so I grabbed the nephew because he had a hoodie on and I'm slanking him. And I slank. I hit his head into the door. All while this man. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. 
Well. <laughs> that damn <they are> Michael. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No one called it. Call my who? She can say damn weird. I can hear you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see they carry the hell. Hey y'all. Yeah, I'm about to get ready to drop down. Michael, I don't know what Michael I went to. That's good, Rick. That's yeah, you can get more. Ooh, B. I'm gonna get ready to drop down, y'all. I love y'all. I love you, Michael. Um, when you come back on, then maybe I'll come back up. Look, he coming back in now. <laughs> okay, I'm back, y'all. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. I was going to get ready to drop down. Okay. I'm like, somebody... what? <laughs> no. Whenever somebody call me, whenever somebody call me, it goes out. So, um, yeah, so look. And so by that time, so I really can press charges on him because he really tried to jump in and hit me. Um, Rudy didn't get no hits in because I was slanging his ass. Um, That's crazy. Oh, it's it's very crazy. <laughs> so I don't understand why all this was going on. Why didn't nobody get arrested when they was messing with you? They should have called the police on them. I called the police, but listen to this. The well, home don't like, they don't like. Remember, and look, that wasn't. The oh part, yeah, that wasn't the oh yeah, because oh yeah, this, you did let somebody have it, right? Yeah, yeah, because I asked about the thing being open. So when the police came, they told me, "Fall Brothers Funeral Home." Right. The police, the police I told them, "Don't call me." When the police came to make Fall Brothers Funeral Home, right. the police, I tell them that I was jumped. They go to the funeral home and don't. The police don't even answer me. They tell me, wait a minute. So I'm looking. So the funeral home was like, well, you know, it was him, and we just don't want him to be here tomorrow at his mother's funeral. What? So the police was like, look, this is for, and you, you, you know, you can't come tomorrow. I said, are you even going to listen to I, I said, well, look, there, I was um, attacked. They didn't want to, the police didn't do shit. They, like, it was my fault. And my cousin had to say, look, what? No, they came at him. He didn't. So oh. the police still, they tell me, we know you're emotional. It's your mother. Bitch, I couldn't be that emotional because you just told me I couldn't come to my mama's funeral if I wanted to. Oh, so, hell no. So I made a conscious decision then that you know uh -huh. what, this happens for a reason. I don't, people right. don't know you're going to regret it. It's not me regretting it. It's, what is, it's what's happening. So I... um. Told my uh, the flowers had not been delivered. They had been delivered, and I didn't even know it because I was out of it by then. Because I went right. to every flower that was delivered. That's the only flowers that's there. So, uh -huh. so I'm right with my cousin, and she was like, "No, that ain't right." But it was, I said, "But you, even then, why was it?" And this is what I don't give a fuck about family that was there or anybody. Nobody right. came out and said, "You know what? It wasn't him." They did this. So everybody that was in that motherfucking funeral home that was against you. Was against you. 
No, I'm talking about, and this was other people that were just friends. Some people didn't want to get into it. Oh, but wow. Still, y'all saw it. Y'all it should have been somebody at least the people that didn't even know you or whoever but look, been like but it was my yeah. cousin my cousin came and she was like no so look i go to the flower shop i said did uh-huh. y'all I, I said did y'all deliver that they said we just i said shit because <laughs> i didn't want to deliver so uh-huh. my cousin go back and she calls me and say look i talked to them and i told them it wasn't you and that's disrespectful for you not to be at your mother's funeral and blah blah blah, and they said to her, "Well, yeah, he can come if he gonna act right." I said, "I ain't going nowhere." First of all, I didn't do anything because right. somebody comes and said they gonna kick my ass, and I jump up and nut the fuck up. Yes, but I mind. I mean, you said, supposed to sit there and let two right. or three, four, she five said, people kick your ass. She said, "Wait a minute, he was doing nothing but minding his own business." I said, "Yeah." He told me because we got cameras. She said, "Well, look at the cameras." And then they said, well, he can come tomorrow if this don't happen. But why wasn't the ones that came at me barred out? Why wasn't the big fat turtle walking? Yeah, that's, that's, that's the problem. See, that's my problem. I can I can be involved in no shit like that because, see, it'll go beyond motherfucker jail because, see, who? Mm-hmm. My thing is this. They didn't put out the fat motherfucker that walked in there to try to come whoop my ass. They didn't put out my nephew. I mean, not that ain't my nephew. The one that we don't even know if Hawk was his real daddy, but they didn't put his motherfucking ass out that came. If the guard is putting me out, uh huh, and this man is coming swinging at me, just this is what I don't get. Then you had the fa- and then you had my sister's um, lesbian daughter, gumpy ass. You had her coming, right. all of them at me, but I'm the one that can't come. What about the rest of these bitches? So. So I they can't. able to come, but yeah. if you yes, oh, and so oh, I yeah, need to, no. listen. So what I'm going to do is we need that video footage, and I got to make this because this was done so totally wrong. I need to because I need all of them prosecuted, and so my cousin said, they said you can come long as I see, but I'm not comfortable now. I I don't want to go. What you mean? <laughs> Shit. Huh? huh? Yeah. Right. I, Why would you be? You said you should be. But, but wait, she told me they said it wasn't gonna happen. I said, but you couldn't stop it. She could, that's why I came early. I said, but you see, it still didn't stop. You as oh a woman, God. she's a woman. She could not have stopped that. They weren't gonna listen to her. Now, if I had a gun or a knife and brought it out and stabbed or shot somebody, I'd be mm-hmm. in the damn jail. Jail. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> Right. So Shut up, but we need the we we need we we need the video footage because they'll see from the inside to the out. Exactly. And they need to see that. That's I knew what, I look, I knew why he was coming in there. Because you just said I'm calling my daddy. So now here come your daddy and I've known this motherfucker for years. You came in with a look. With gloves on, I'm surprised he found something to fit his big old fat puppy head ass. But <laughs> he like a motherfucking turtle. <laughs> what? And so I said, uh, uh-uh. so what was you? What was the security guy wanted me to do? To stand what? there and let this big bitch grab me? Right. That's like, what I'm saying. Know, and first of all. I, the reason I jumped up on the chair, bitch, just six two with the smell of air. But I, I jumped up with the walker because I'm about to hit his ass. Now he's coming at me. But do the guard grab the big bitch? Nope. He grabs me. He grabs you. And as he's grabbing me, the big bitch is steady walking behind him. So I got the guard, I got the big bitch, and the big lesbian girl. Oh, hell no. I did so for the free. Wait, and as we get to the doorway, as we get to the doorway, then here comes the other nigga who we don't know his who his real daddy is, he come. So me and him go at it. I sling. Did my niece, I mean, not my niece, the lesbian bitch, she picks up the walker and throws it out the door. Because I didn't walk out now. Because I'm outnumbered. I'm fighting the, the big bitch want me, the lesbian girl, the other motherfucker, and then you got the guard who ain't said shit to nobody else but me. Why the that is crazy. What I want to come to that. Exactly. 
That's crazy. No way to yeah, work. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, that's your mama. You should be escorted tomorrow, Uncle Mike. They care. They are waiting to show out tomorrow. You know what? That's why I'm going to try to get a bodyguard. I don't know how much they cost. You know, if I had known that, I would have took all the money I spent, I mean, the money for them flowers and got um, a bodyguard. I should have. But I don't think you should have had to do no shit like that. That's crazy because that's your fucking mama. These people is crazy as fuck. But honey, but you, know what? you better. You better than me. So let me tell you something. Honey, <laughs> I'm a real motherfucker idiot. Baby, it would have went down. You bitches swinging. Guess what? If it was a chair or a motherfucker oh. coffee table or oh. anything, oh, bitch, oh, all oh, y'all bitches would have been laid out. Oh, trust me. I picked up everything I could. But you had the guard. That was a little muscle about nigga that I really I'm tussling with him and everybody else. Ain't that a bit? That's fucked up. Yeah, no. I need to press charge because I did nothing. Oh, wrong. y'all bitches would have had a permanent and motherfucking look, score yeah, on your motherfucking head. But you know what? Not Nan wanna not Nan one of them bitches moved. Then I'm not calling anybody else a bitch. I'm saying people sit there and just watch. And these were people that has said to me, I know ain't nobody had your mama back but you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it, it is what it is. You, you really get to know the real people when it happens. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. You know what? But it's, that is uh, crazy. It's good because like I said, man, please. Go here. That's uh, some crazy uh, ass people out here, boy. Yeah, I could go in tomorrow, but you know what? I'm going in tomorrow and get the flowers that. Yeah, I just get the sense. flowers. If you ain't I got just, nobody going, Michael, just leave it alone. Just get the flowers and get the fuck on because I see this shit going left again. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting. I really um, do. Pyceria, Pyceria, Pyceria's flowers, Dion flowers, my flowers, and whoever else from Fortune Games System. Damn. But see, I don't. You know what? It's it's all good though. It's all good. Yeah, cause but it's gonna come back. <laughs> it's definitely gonna come back. But you know what? Hopefully, I'll find. I'm look. I'm gonna find somebody, guy. I want one just as big as the fat funky bitch that walked up on me. <laughs> Oh, they got them big. Do a whole video when it comes to. Then we can do a whole video when it comes to Crooked Eye Lazy Marcus Waters. And we could talk about, he could tell the whole story about the Tillmans, the real, what really happened. Oh, bitch. Oh, wow. By the time I'm through. Let's talk about the <laughs> Tillmans. There's a lot of them. I don't think the Tillmans really know what really, really happened. Right. Oh, wow. That's. Yeah. You gonna try to avoid me from coming to I my mama my shit because somebody else not started with me. You crazy as hell. Look, Bitch, please. I'm coming to my mama shit. I see that the lazy crooked eye mark when I call the police laugh. So the fruit of home already had this preconceived notion. And they allow some shit for that guard to grab me the way he did. Mm -mm. And my cousin tell me, go, go there for what? Go there for what? Now, unless I, but you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk up in there with a hundred people. Michael, you might be glad I don't stay in Detroit, cause honey, I'd be right behind you. I ain't no motherfucking bodyguard, but I slang a bitch from left the motherfucking right by the strains of your motherfucking hair. If you ain't got number five, fuck a strain. Fuck it was one big. Back. It was one big gumpy bitch. I wish you had a slung. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm with the shit. I'm five too. I'm five too. Maybe I'd have clipped that bitch and gave her five five hundred cupcakes. That bitch. And look, <laughs> just the look, just the look this little heifer gave me. The look that this little heifer gave me. The same look she gives her mama sometimes, but she look at her her daddy lovely, like she been touched. I don't know. Wow. Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. 
But you know, I record everything. I got recordings of it, but I won't show it. I'll wait for the trial. That is crazy. You done been through a whole lot of shit today. And you still think. My mama would have cussed all the bitches out. I ain't lying. I ain't lying. That's just sad. It's <laughs> and, sad. And, and I'm with you on that, Michael. And that shit would have been ugly. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Mama Michael didn't play, baby. She and definitely did not play. Kim to, look, I get my cousin Kim trying, and I don't think she understands. She's like, no, so that's not right. You, you were there for her. You took care of her. And you should be able to do your last goodbye. The fact that exactly. the me I couldn't be there. Wait, the fact that you told me I couldn't be there, but not the people that came in it. <laughs> and if you, you look at your camera, I was sitting there. They fucked with me. So I have no respect for the funeral home. I have no respect for the, the process, the police. And I truly lost all respect for that man named Clinton. Who happened to be lucky? Oh yeah, I was watching that. I, I was saying to myself, "Oh Lord, when you say you done lost both parents, I was like, oh shit." Yeah. <laughs> I, I listen. I will not dial his number. Dial him one last I time. I said, "Oh shit." I will dial him one more time. You won't dial him. Other than. <laughs> <that bitch. laughs> oh my God, Jesus, why? Oh goodness. Uh mm. I can hear you, Michael. You're on mute. Four feet day. What's going on, four feet day? How y'all doing on this good old way it's Friday? Besides these four fucking with my boy. Tired ass bitches. <laughs> I'ma be nice though. Okay, I don't know why Mika keep looking. I mean, leave them. Mika, somebody called me. When they called me, they called me. Hold on one minute, y'all. I use the restroom. Hold on. We you tell you about? Two minutes just before I go to the bathroom. Oh, oh, thank you.
Okay, I'm back. Thank you. Okay, can y'all still hear me? The um, Siri, my dad just sat there and didn't say nothing. So I don't know y'all, but I've been on here for a while. I'm gonna get on here, y'all. I think um, I'm gonna try to worry about my. I'm gonna um, try to buy me a um, a guard, a bodyguard. So the one I was trying to get, I have an answer. But I'll call you guys back. I mean, I call you guys back. Thank you. Pray for me, and pray for them ignorant asses that try to get me. All right, I'm out. Peace.